Islam. I'm trying to be your friend, man. I'm trying to be your friend, bro. Help me out. Meet me halfway. Come on. I wanna, I wanna, I wanna be your friend. Peace and love. Let me be your friend. Peace and love. I said you ain't never met a more like me. And you ain't never, ever, ever gonna meet one again. Now let me be your friend. Peace and love. Let me be your friend. Peace and love. I said you ain't never met a more like me. And you ain't never, ever, ever gonna meet one again. I wanna be your friend. Love. You let me be your friend, peace and love uh-huh. Hey yo, I used to be a thug Until I met the prophet, now I'm all about love Truth, peace and freedom Till I return to a law, one day we gon' meet em. I'm all about justice, that's the focus of the message Sometimes Asiatics make me wanna forget the lessons I be all up in my passion from all the more passion All things considered, I start laughing A grown man with a ponytail Another calling us Neanderthal And he all pale, I mean for real this Come to my brother, we got nothing better to do than talk down to each other Yeah, we can be scholarly, or we can get gutter We are the children of a father, and the rest of our mother has nursed us all And first of all, we beefing while the fiend trying to murk us all You need to chill, my brother, tell the elder the same Cause on the real, my man, I'm really about them things I can take the feds off and get back in the low And return to the state where they used to call me dope, but no with the prophet of the law, want love, not war. Standing on that floor, and I'm holding the square. The compass and the axe that might be too deep. Yo, let's not get off track. See, our prophet was an adept. Do you know what that is? An Egyptian adept is a brother who lived by the universal science developing the now. We call it Islamism, but it's the same, my child. Sit at the foot of a master. I train you up, but I might have to bang you up. I still love you. And those that's talking that this ain't Islam, everything the prophet brought. It's in the Quran, all the other stuff prostrate and cover up is just the start The nearest place to me, the law is the heart You can dress like Infotep or you can dress like a herb By the most American Muslim unifies the word You can say what you want about Dr. York But he gave you different variations of the same thought You don't appreciate that, you won't appreciate me Appreciate the holy and divine Drew by Lee People refuse to admit it, he the first that ever did it Europeans hope that the Moors would forget it, but we here Strong, alive and well, resurrected from hell With a story to tell, so pay attention and listen And consider the facts, you know it's humanly impossible for you to be black I guess a Chinaman is yellow, a Mexican is brown Just think for a second, how ridiculous it sound We can turn it around, but we must unite It's okay to disagree, but we don't have to fight Cause if we have to fight, you know how we get I'm still learning to love, no I'm not there yet So work with me fam and I'ma work with you And let's all work and do what we gotta do Cause on the real side We haven't made no progress Since 1929 When the prophet left the flesh We got an Asiatic president Men murray men Psycho shooting up a club And don't see his own sin And those that say they conscious Them took your fucks Move straight to Hollywood And straight living it up And y'all picking it up Straight cheesing and grinning But it was your bread To help them set it off In the beginning Be careful what you put in your soul Cause it could blind you Unfortunately some people Get paid to misguide you Misguide you Oh yeah, I wanna be your friend Peace and love, let me be your friend Peace and love, I said you ain't never And you would never, you ain't never, ever, ever You ain't never met a more like this And you ain't never, ever, ever gonna be one again I wanna be your friend Peace and love, don't let me be your friend Peace and love, oh yeah You ain't never met a more like this And you ain't never, ever, ever gonna meet one again Don't let me be your friend Love. Let me be your friend Peace and love I wanna be your friend Yeah Let me be your friend We ain't trying to be enemies I wanna be your Yo, let me be your I wanna be your friend Hey. Good afternoon, family. <sighs> man, 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 man. Man, 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 man. <laughs> How did I get this job? <laughs> How did I get this job? 
I don't understand how I got this job. <laughs> you know what I mean? <laughs> it's a dirty job, but somebody got to do it. Let me give a disclaimer first before we get started. Um, One of the first disclaimers I want to give is that, um, number one, let me see if I can pull it up real quick. Number one. This is a copyright disclaimer under Section 107 of the Copyright Act of 1976. Allowance is made for the fair use for purpose of such criticisms, comment, news, reporting, teaching, scholarship, and research. And I'm covering all the above with this subject. Fair use is a use permitted by copyright statute that might otherwise be infringing on infringing nonprofit educational or personal use tips the balance in favor of fair use also parental advisory is advised again i will be critiquing commenting also reporting, teaching, expressing some scholarship, and most definitely research. Now, tonight the story is about, and, and, and if you're not used to Moorish World TV, I want to set the tone. Tonight is about Jacob York. It's not about Dr. Malachi Z. York. I think that's time for that. that we have time for another show for that. And as I told uh, someone today, I'm not going to have all the stories cross and intersect, whereas though we missed the point. You follow me? So tonight, this is about Jacob York. Now, if y'all are new to Moorish World TV, let me give you the, the working framework. As I said in opening up, I don't know how I get in this position to be talking about certain stories. I give you an example. I seen Grandmaster J, the one that was a part of the militia thing, and I thought it was kind of odd that he was moving how he was moving. And I begin to cover it. And I'm like, nah, this guy's a fraud. And then I go on a whole 12 months campaign because he just keep giving and giving and giving fraudulent behavior. And to the point, I predicted that he would drift off the scene. And ultimately he did everything I predicted. You follow me? But from that story came the story of my sister, Black Hourglass, uh, mommy goddess young sister being sexually taken advantage of uh being uh, uh treated less than a dignified manner um and people have plenty of opin opinions about that um then it went on to the black panther it was just like it started off with a branch and i mean it started off with a root uh, Grandmaster J, and then it just branched everywhere. All the Black Panthers, and all, oh, and, and and I mean, it just was crazy. If you've been following the story, so this has been the legacy so far that we're building on Moorish World TV. And so now this story starts with Brother Polite. From the time that Brother Polite um swindled somebody here in Baltimore out of approximately six thousand dollars. I, at that time, I guess that was 2015. I'm not sure what it was. But at that time, I said, man, this guy, <laughs> this guy tripping. You know what I'm saying? And I kind of like, ah, ah, we got another one. Cut it off. Got the people money back on and on and on. And so, and if anybody watched the show when Brother Polite actually called in the show about polygamy, the first thing Polite said was, I thought you had a beef with me. I said, I don't have no beef with you. I have a, I have a problem with the people who didn't uh, uh, expect you to take their money. 
but I don't have no beef with you. You remember? <laughs> yeah. Anybody remember that show? I did the show about polygamy and polite. Uh, 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 the guy over there and um, in, in, in the whole K, um, he sent him the link and he came in and I said, man, what's going on? Where you been at? <laughs> you know, be being facetious. He said, I thought you didn't like me. I said, I got, you don't got no beef with me. I said, man, I don't got no beef with you. <laughs> but whatever the case may be, and I don't have no beef with nobody. I don't, uh, I don't, I'm not going to hold. See, one thing about beef, beef, that old fake beef stuff, and we're going to talk about that in a minute. That old fake beef stuff that, that people do on the internet, that stuff ain't real. I'm telling you, man, it's right down the street from, um, Right down the street from my house, man, a, a, a young sister, they haven't even identified her yet, uh, was shot in her head and left for dead uh, last week, one morning when I came out the house. And I did the live on um, on um, Facebook. So, I mean, beef is beef is something different than uh, this stuff that happens on the Internet. So I don't have no beef for anybody. You know what I'm saying? Um, so with that being said. Let me block this guy real quick. With that being said, um, no, even when I disagree with you, I don't have beef. So let's let let, let me let this be clear. So from the polite branch, um, I've been covering stories about polite that periodically seem out of hand. You feel what I'm saying? And when this story came up about the child molestation of a 14-year-old, rightfully so, I covered the story. You see what I'm saying? Now, many people who never covered uh, 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 the wickedness of Brother Polite, everybody started jumping on it. And me, anybody that watched the channel, know for sure, without a doubt or contradiction, that periodically I would touch on these stories of... I guess indiscretions of Brother Polite. Y'all remember when, uh, uh, when, when uh, the guy from Ho K came on the channel and said, "Man, why you, why you put his wife on there? You got his wife on the cover." And I said, "All right, I take the wife off." You know what I'm saying? But then I thought about it. I'm like, "Ain't he the one that paraded his wife around half naked all the way through social media?" I and I put a decent picture of his wife. They had the afro. They didn't have the 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 the, the paid for uh, implants. You know what I'm saying? They didn't have any of that. They were just natural. I put the most respectable one I could find. I say, why you put my wife on there? I'm like, so long story short, let's get to the get to. When the molestation thing broke, and we covered it, and we covered it. I mean, good. You know what I mean? Um, let me get this sister right here, Sister Dolores. Uh, you have the ability to create a, a, a channel. Um, maybe you should create the channel that focus on Europeans, and then we'll bring my audience over there and build your channel. Uh, right now, we I'm going to be focusing on the roaches in the house. Um, that's what I want to focus on. I want to focus on the roaches in the house because in order to live in this house, we can't be annoyed by the roaches. But if you create the channel talking about the Europeans, I will give you 1000% backing and I will also direct the audience from Morse World TV over there so we can blow your channel up because we need people to do all sorts of channel. I can't cover it all. You know what I'm saying? I'm not that good. Um, and so when we have roaches in the house, you know, we just need to pull out the raid and we got to do what we got to do inside the house. You know what I'm saying? We can deal but with the roaches outside, you know what I'm saying, once we deal with the roaches in the house, you see. But if you would like to create a channel to focus on Europeans and the, the dastard ways that they have been doing for the last three to 4,000 years, there is no problem with me. I will send everybody there so we can blow your channel up. And I appreciate your comment. Uh, now, back to what I was saying. Back to what I was saying. So now this story, now this story has went into the direction where Because some people think that Sister Uma reached out to me. In fact, quite a few people reached out to me. You follow me? 
Um, talking to Sister Uma, and I will tell you, talking to Sister Uma, um, and the sister that I spoke to today, they were just easy to talk to. You follow what I'm saying? And I kind of understood, you know, the plight just from talking to how the sister that I spoke to today and Uma, um, they just paint a picture to give me a concept of what happened. Now, I don't believe in taking sides because I don't have all the information yet. Um, so again, this is not, a, um, yeah, I'll open up the stream tonight. I'll open up the stream like, like an hour and a half after I go through these slides. So anyway, let's get to the point. My bad, my bad. I'm dragging all along. I'm talking like old people on the porch. Anyway, the story I have come to the point where it's though, um, Uma's story was connected to Polite because Polite ultimately, allegedly attempted to uh, try to kill Uma, in fact, or somebody with Polite, allegedly, you know, and so that's how she come in. And then from that story, blossomed the story of child molestation. You follow what I'm saying? And so um, it kind of just opened up to the point where we're at now. So uh, Jacob York came on the channel, and I want y'all to remember this. Nobody called Jacob York out. Nobody called him out. Jacob York came on the channel and thought that somebody called his name. Do y'all remember that? Let me see if I can find a clip real quick. He thought that somebody called his name. He hit the link that was in the chat, assuming that somebody called his name. This is how Jacob York gets into the conversation. Y'all remember that? Can y'all press one if y'all remember that? That's how he gets into the conversation. Nobody called Jacob York name. Not no one. In fact, let me see if I can find it real quick. See if I can find it real quick. I think I got it here. Um, in fact, he came on the show. Let me see if I can find it. I think I might got it here. In fact, he came on the show and called. Let me see if I can find it. First of all, in 1999, I was dealing with something completely different. I didn't deal with props in 1999. Hold up, hold up. stop. Jacob, you're, you're calling her the Let me stop. Let me stop. Let me stop. First of all, hold up, hold up. Leah, Leah. You don't, no, it's not Leah. I'm saying. I'm saying. In 1999, I was dealing with. First of all, in 1999, I was dealing with something completely different. I didn't deal with. First of all, in 1999, first of all, in 1999, Leah. Leah. You don't know. Leah. Leah. You don't know. Leah. Leah. You don't know. Leah. I'm saying. I'm saying. Y'all <laughs> hear that? And the following night, he goes on to the whole K, teaming up with the one he thought he was fussing with. Did y'all hear that? He teams up on whole K with the sister. He thought he was fussing with on Moore's World TV. Did y'all check that out? But then he says that she needs medication. Did y'all hear that? And said that, now, a slip of the tongue is all right. But now listen what I said, though. Watch this. Let me play it real quick. And this is my video. I could have showed it. Listen to this. <laughs> Listen, people need some healing. Check this out. Leah, Leah. You don't know. It's not Leah. I'm saying. I'm saying. In 1999, I was dealing with. First of all, in 1999, I was dealing with something completely different. I didn't deal with props in 1999. Hold up, hold up. Uma York, stop. Jacob York, you're calling her the wrong person. You don't even know who you're talking to. I know I'm talking to one of the Mabrys. This brother, you are in an argument. Or in a conversation and you don't even know who you're talking for to. You see how bizarre this is? You see what I'm talking about? This is how he gets into the conversation. 
know what I'm saying? Somebody say no sound. It's, it's sound. You might have to go about and come back in, Kamani Braswell. Braswell. Um, this is how crazy this is. And so now that I'm covering, and y'all remember when, y'all remember the part of the show? Do y'all remember the part of the show when he said they are calling him a child molester? And I said, nobody called you a child molester. But are you a child molester? And what did he say? What? 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 Are you a child? <laughs> Y'all remember that? Let me see if I got that clip. Let me see that. Nobody said you raped anybody, brother. <laughs> Where did you hear I heard. I just heard somebody say, uh, Jacob York. And Not like, just what the hell do I have to do with this at all? No, no one said you raped any children. Did you rape any children? Why would you even see that's not news? No, if you want to be if, no brother, brother, if you want to be if you want to be a part of the conscious community, because I'm he's going to invite me into the conscious community. <laughs> if you want to be a part of the conscious community, <laughs> and let me tell you something, family. Let me tell you something. Most of the stories I do is because whether it's a direct attack or whether it's an indirect attack. I don't know you and you don't know me. And you begin to attack me. Now that I'm going to figure out who you are. And I leave it at that. You know what I'm saying? I leave it at that. You know what I'm saying? Once I figure out who you are, I let the people decide. And so everything that I'm going to say tonight is alleged. <laughs> All right? Anything I say tonight is a legend. Let me see if I can pull this up real quick. Everything that I'm going to say tonight is probably a legend. Allegedly. You feel me? Everything that I say. Allegedly. <laughs> All right. All right. Everything I say tonight. Allegedly. <laughs> critical thinker. I'm a critical thinker too. <laughs> Allegedly. <laughs> I make myself laugh. I really do. I <laughs> good time. And my father used to say, he used to make himself laugh and say, hey, 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 I'm having a good time. I'm having a good time. Hey, man, y'all, you gonna have a good time with yourself. I'm having a good time. I can have a good time. So, family, let's get it started. Who actually was the one that was doing it all? A lot of you are afraid to, dis to, to disclose who actually was the one that was doing it or a group of them that were actually doing it because these were like some. They were supposed to be respected brothers and sisters of the community at the time, even though they were young. You say they were manipulating the, the girls and convincing them that they that they have this and that, so they can do this. Yeah, it wasn't pops. You know what I'm saying? It was some of his kids that did that shit. Let's just keep it fucking real. You know what I'm saying? And people like Jacob fucking York. Real. You know what I'm saying? And people like Jacob fucking York. You know what I'm saying? And yeah, and yeah, he he was one of those kind of people that did that kind of shit. You know what I'm saying? There's a bunch of other, but I'm not gonna put nobody else on there because I don't hear nobody else talking about pops the way he's doing. I don't see nobody else coming at our father the way he's doing. It's like, dude, you did that shit. You know what I'm saying? Pops ain't do that shit. Pops ain't have time to do it. You did that shit to a lot of the kids. You know what I'm saying? Stop playing. As a matter of fact, a lot of, a lot of kids hated you because of it. People were afraid of you because of how successful you got dealing with, with fucking Biggie Smalls and all them motherfuckers and bad boys. So people felt that they needed to respect you in order to be able to get somewhere inside of the game. And I know that because I was also a victim of that. I left the U.S. and didn't feel like I could make music in the U.S. because of fear of Jacob York interfering with my music career because I had love and respect for my father. And for me, it felt like anybody who had loyalty and honor and respect for our father, Jacob York targeted us and tried to and tried to make us look like we're the bad guys to the rest of the family, try to make us look like we're incompetent, try to give us this bad perspective and persona to everybody else as well, and just so that it can help support the idea of what his lies is about his own father. 
my thing is, is it's like Jacob, get the fuck. You know why? Because, because, because nobody wants to deal with that no more, Jacob. You know what I'm saying? Everybody knows that it was a lie. Everybody knows that it was bullshit. And those who experienced it themselves, and for you to just sit there and to let pops continuously take the blame for this shit is wrong of you all. You know what I'm saying? Period. Any of you that sits today and just accepts the blame on pops when you know that it wasn't him that was doing that to you, and I, and, and y'all know who I'm talking about. You know what I'm saying? It's wrong. And now is the time for me to stop. Stop this nonsense, Jacob. Stop hating on your fucking father and stop trying to destroy our family. I feel that more you go remember, be more. I feel that more you go remember, that time. I feel that more you go remember, the Harker Bay front line till the law call my number. I feel that more you go remember, that law. I feel that more you go remember, that's New York. I feel that more you go remember, the Harker Bay front line till the law call my number. Now that is what you call content. That is what you call quality content. That is not what you call bottom feeder content. That's where you put in real work. This is where you put in real illustration. And even if you use something that formerly has been used, you put your love to it for the people and keep their interest. Thank you. I always try to give my best on my intros. But now with that being said, I, I want y'all to know I'm not a Dr. York apologist. I'm not a Dr. York fan. I'm not a Dr. York friend because I don't know enough about the topic. All right. I don't know enough about the topic. But what I will say is this. What I will say is this. I've heard stories from two alleged victims of Dr. York. However, the problem with that story is that we never hear Dr. York's side. You understand what I'm saying? And so let's be fair. Many people, now that's just me, but many people may have heard 20 stories, 30 stories, FBI files, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. But I only seen the story with the brother on the bench talking to Brother Polite. And so I want you to understand, I'm not a Dr. York apologist. I've heard some new stories as late as today. You follow me? And I heard the Jacob story where he said he walked in. Um, many people ask me to bring the brother Chuck Morgan on the show. The problem, I have no problem with Chuck Morgan. They says that he's a, a, a researcher. <laughs> he said, we did here inside. Guilty, guilty, guilty. What I'm saying is about his story. I never heard his story from his mouth in detail. I, I know he pled guilty. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? I never heard his story in detail. That's what I'm saying. Um, I'm playing the angel's advocate so we can have a balanced uh, dialogue here. You feel what I'm saying? I'm playing the balance out. I'm, being, I'm playing the angel's advocate. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? I don't play the devil advocate. Um, yeah, yeah, I actually seen that. When I'm talking about uh, Bonell TV, I never heard him to tell his story in detail. You see what I'm saying? Because I would love to hear his story. You know how Dr. York speak. He speak matter-of-factly. You feel what I'm saying? Oh, no, I didn't say he wasn't guilty. See, stop putting words in my mouth. Morse World TV double standard. You said Polite was guilty and you ignored Tariq Noel. I never say he wasn't guilty. He pled guilty. I didn't say that. I say I would like to hear the story. See, this is the problem with us. We don't, we, we don't think too good. We don't think too good. I would like to hear the story. I He pled guilty, so obviously he's guilty of something. Stop. Stop acting as if you are so emotionally charged and connected to a story that it blocks your ears that you don't hear. 
The only said, the only thing I said, I haven't heard his story. But he's guilty because he pled guilty. And that's just that. Now, um, within the foul charges, let me say this. Within the foul charges is the allegations of all the all the molestation charges. They're all crumpled up in there. And so, and so, man, listen, I'm not going to keep responding to you. Don't come in and spam my channel. And so, because those charges was crumpled up in there, and I don't think a grown man, I don't think a grown man, just me, I don't know. I just don't think a grown man will come on camera and lie about another man doing some gross sexual things to him. I got to I got to believe the victim. However, I still would be interested in hearing the story. Now I don't want to hear the great details. But I would love to just hear that. That's all I'm saying. So you can judge one way or the other. That's on you. I'm not an apologist for anybody. Now, with that being said, also though, see this this see this is why my channel is sort of controversial to a degree. Also, I believe from what I've researched and a confession that was made that allegedly Jacob York set his father up for the downfall. And what I mean set his father up for the downfall is that the same thing that he uh, uh, accused his father of and he went to the FBI allegedly is the same thing that he actually was allegedly doing. And this is the thing. I'm not saying it just to be saying it. There's multiple witnesses out there saying that Jacob York was doing disgusting things to little children. Allegedly. And some of the stories, not saying Dr. York didn't do anything, but some of the stories that was superimposed on Dr. York, he was actually doing it himself, according to these people, according to According to Abigail, huh. let's take a look. There's no way that any person in their right mind can go ahead and live the rest of their life knowing that they sent somebody to jail for life on lies. There's just no way. Um, and there's no way that I can live the rest of my life knowing that Malachi is going to spend the rest of his life in jail, knowing that Kathy um, is in jail now because of charges that we brought up against her. Now, this sister here, this sister here is saying that they trumped up charges against a lady named Kathy. Right? And also, and also, the same way that they trumped up charges against Kathy that was in jail, you will find out that in this sister deposition, she also claims, she also claims that Jacob York, that Jacob York used the same method that they used to set up Kathy to bring Dr. York down. Not saying that Dr. York didn't do anything because I'm not a Dr. York apologist. I don't know enough. But what I will say is that this lady gives a deposition in 2004 
claiming allegedly claiming that Jacob York claiming that Jacob York sent them to roll up Dr. York, whether he committed or not. Now, hold up. Someone says she took the story back. Let me tell you something. In this long deposition, as sincere as she looked to me, saying that she couldn't sleep at night, saying that she would not live with herself without telling this story. Whether she took it back or not, we have to take this into consideration. Only, only somebody with a little bit of brain power, with a little bit of brain power would consider taking this into consideration. Listen. Um, every time I look at my children, I think about her children. I think about the fact that. Now, one would say she took the statement back, right? One would say she took the statement back. But that's a long statement. That's a long statement. I will put the link in here. Shout out to the channel that uploaded. I will put the link. That's a long statement. I'm talking about, she's talking about, and she's talking about, it's called a recampment. That doesn't mean it's not true. Just because she recanted off the record, that don't mean it's not true. Now, let me look at Elite. Look at Tariq Noel and Chuck Morgan. Somebody, everybody be asking me, interview Chuck Morgan, interview Chuck Morgan. I don't know Chuck Morgan, but I'm always leery of people who do stories on things where they have no horse in the race. It's my understanding that he's never been a part of, 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 of the new Abian or Ansar Law. Hey, they could say the same thing about me. Neither was I. However, because I've been dealing in the this world, what they call the conscious community, it almost it already put me there. You know what I'm saying? And dealing with, uh, like I say, polite uh, uh, robbing the people and polite uh, uh, on the channel, and it, it kind of puts me there. You know what I'm saying? But um. When, when I ask people about Chuck Morgan, I say, well, who is he? You know what I'm saying? I say, where he come from? Who is he? They can't give me a lot of information. And maybe I'll reach out to him myself and have a conversation with him. But uh, everybody that and I ask about him, they can't really give me any information. You know what I'm saying? So maybe I'll reach out to him myself. I don't know. You know what I'm saying? So with that being said, because somebody called it a recantment, um, we still have to take it into consideration. And stuff like this. Now, we do have, which I do know, you have many people on the side of Dr. York that said he haven't done anything. However, you have children that are adults now that say he, he was. So, let's listen to Sis. There's no way that any person in their right mind can go ahead and live the rest of their life knowing that they sent somebody to jail for life. On lies. There's just no way. Um, and there's no way that I can live the rest of my life knowing that Malachi is going to spend the rest of his life in jail, knowing that Kathy um, is in jail now because of charges that we brought up against her. Um, every time I look at my children, I think about her children. I think about the fact that... My bad. I played the same one. We moved that. Um, what was that one? Let me see. Oh. So... Do this. 
So, and listening to the sister, right? And listening to the sister. To, to come out with the truth now because I don't sleep at night knowing that two people are um, spending their lives in jail as I speak because of statements that a bunch of ex disgruntled members came out with. Um, the whole trial against Malachi was a personal, it was on personal anger reasons. Um, we all had our own issues, why we were angry with him. Um, and Jacob told us that if we can come up with a story, we could eventually file for a class action lawsuit. We can all sue him for millions of dollars and get money from it. We can even go to making movies. We can even go to making books and stuff like that. So everybody fed off of that. And you know what's funny about that? When I hear her give this deposition, she talks about millions of dollars, right? And it's ironic that just the other night that Jacob was talking about his father only reached out to him when he needed a couple million dollars or I'm a millionaire. I was living in my condo and such and such. And so for her to put money in the equation and this guy uh, uh, expressed a few comments that would try to seem to underscore money. I may be reaching. I don't know. I don't know. But I'm just looking at the mentality. The mentality is to get them out the way. We can make money off of this. And, da -da 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 -da. and all of a sudden, we hear, even as recent as the other night, talking about money. You follow me? How much money he got? Maybe I'm reaching. I don't know. You know what I'm saying? I don't know. But, hey, it seemed odd to me. Now, the intro, the intro joint that I played today, right, and opening up the show, It's a, it, the brother is saying that Jacob, let me put this up here. The brother said that Jacob was basically running around on the land, taking advantage of little boys as well as little girls, right? This is my commentary. Taking advantage of little boys and little girls, right? And remember... On my show, he said that I was privileged. He said, I didn't have a concept of molestation the way we see it today. And for somebody to say something like that, it speaks volumes. To me, that says that, to me, that says that, If you was commit that type of atrocity, you don't know the gravity of it. If you, 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 you did y'all hear when he said that? He said, I did not know. You know what I mean? We didn't have a concept of that when I was young. That's why we never really spoke on it. Y'all remember that? Y'all remember that? But with that being said, now examine the mentality of that. If you don't know the concept or you don't know the deeper effects of the uh, a sexual abuse or molestation, then therefore you could act in that and not know the gravity of that. This is where the wisdom come in. Let me read this. Your work is helping people heal from addiction here in Pennsylvania, and I would love a chance to come and talk about it and tell the world. Anytime, family, anytime, email me to gmail.com. I'm going to get me a special email uh, for all those who have important stories uh, so I can, um, so I don't miss these emails. I got a lot of junk mail and everything. Um, yeah, this is, 
I, I said, Eddie Santiago, Santiago, I said, this is commentary. In the beginning, let me show you one more time. Let me show you one more time. Um, if you, if you, if you missed it, I said, it's fair use for the purpose such as criticism, comment. I'm commenting. I'm commenting. All right. So stick with me. Stick with me, brother. It's going to be a whole bunch of different things that I make a uh, 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 comment on. You know what I'm saying? So stick with me. Come on. You don't, we don't have to be so, uh, um, so at each other. I'm just making a comment. Um, we have a transition home when we bring brothers-in-law of the street and try to give them knowledge that you teach. And if anyone needs a place to go, we don't charge to move in. Email me and I will make my way up there and I will speak to them personally. I will speak them to them personally and I will tell how uh, uh, the transition to this side of, 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 of life is so beneficial, so enriching, and such a wonderful journey. Email me, I come right up there. I plan to come right up there. It would be after the, it probably would be after the 20th of October, but I will come up there because I got some things scheduled going on and we got a lot going on behind the scenes. So email me, I will come up there and speak to the people directly. You know what I'm saying? Uh, 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 I was a fool with it years ago. I've never been uh, a substance abuse, but I abuse uh, ignorance pretty much. <laughs> I was an ignorant abuser. <laughs> I abused ignorance. I overcame ignorance. You know what I mean? That's right. Sometimes I want relapse. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> For real. So email me, family. I, I will I will make a trip up there on my dime, on my time. We got the Morris World News TV, Morris World TV uh, uh, SUV. That's right. That's right. I mean, we got the Morris World TV SUV. We go right up there. That's right. So with that being said, um, let me share a few things with you real quick. Now, one thing that I was able to pull up and I'm only talking about, and this may be one sided. Let me see. I actually, I actually um, invited um, because I'd like to keep it fair. I actually invited him uh, on the show. I didn't get a response. It was kind of late, but I actually invited him on the show. But so many people like to talk about the story in Miami. You know what I'm saying? Um, and I'm going to just read a few things that I that I screenshotted, right? And then I'm going to go back to some video clips. I just, I'm going to read a few things that I screenshot, right? And let me see if I can share this with you real quick. Just so we can have uh, some sort of outline of what we talk about here. All right. So here we go. So this is something that I just pulled offline. I just thought it was, you know what I mean? This is all opinion uh, or this is all alleged. Let's say that. So let me start on this uh, line right here with Nicole. It said, Nicole Ada Lopez, 28, has also made statements to the other young females. These are about statements that was made and put on the record. And she remembered when she was younger, her mother, Barbara Noel, engaging in sexual intercourse with various men in front of her. Barbara Noel did not stop to realize for years Dr. York took care of her illegitimate children. Dr. York is not the biological father of Adai, Amala, or David Noel. Yet, for years, Barbara Noel lied to her children, stating that Dr. York was their biological father. Now, why would a mother lie to her son and daughter about who their father, who their real father is? It was looked and as prestigious thing to be a child of Dr. York. Don't that sound familiar? Don't that sound familiar? He was like, I was sheltered. Right? Does that sound familiar? Do 
this presentation is not about Dr. York at this time. We'll deal with that at a later date. Dr. York, then it says that biological children. It says, now why would a mother lie to the, da, 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 da. it was looked as prestigious, da, 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 prestigious thing to be a child of Dr. York because of his works, intelligence, and worth. Female members of the community who came in, in a single, who came in single with children often lied to their children about Dr. York being their father to gain a position or status within the community. The time it was, this time it backfired. David, David found out that Dr. York was not his biological father and it hurt him very badly. And he began to grow hate and animosity towards Dr. York because of his mother lies. Barbara, Shara, Noel, after leaving the community, became sexually involved with Jacob York. Barbara Noel applied for public assistance in both DeKalb County and Clark County, which is illegal. Stop again. Y'all remember that part? Y'all remember that part? Y'all remember when Jacob York say, yeah, everybody was getting food stamps. So this is coming from the side that's defending Dr. York, but it's actually confirming it's actually confirming some of the commentary. Y'all hear what I'm saying? It's confirming some of the commentary that he just said here the other night. Yes, you can email me to alkabay at gmail.com. I try to read at the end of the show. Don't leave. Remind me. He, what I'm saying is this. Although this is coming from the York supporter side, Right? It actually confirms his comments. This is why this is a critical thinking channel. And you won't really understand Morse World TV if you show up today and then miss the next show, show up tomorrow and mix the next show because we stay in the clutch. We stay shifting the gears on a topic. And we unfolded all the way to we have some wisdom drawn from the topic and some healing on the back end. You follow what I'm saying? And some healing on the back end. That's what that's what our channel is about here. So so let's get it. Let's get it. He said, "Oh, I need the screen share, huh? Hold up. I thought that was ironic when I read that. You know, I can't read everything." Um because we'll be here all night. But I really thought that was kind of ironic that he just spoke on that. And there it is. Uh, I asked everybody hit that thumbs up, fam. We got 12, uh, 100 people in here. Let's hit that thumbs up, fam. We're going to get the wisdom out of this. And we're going to figure out, you know, is this man a monster or is he a mogul? Um, allegedly. It said Barbara Noel filed, filed for public assistance, which is illegal. Basically, she was committing welfare fraud, which Jacob York admitted on here. And it's ironic that, listen, according to this, allegedly Jacob York was having sex with this woman, and this woman is committing welfare fraud. Don't that sound very ironic that he was saying that, yeah, they was getting food stamps. They was doing this. And then somebody says he's allegedly having a woman, having having sexual relation with a woman who's supposedly stealing food stamps. <laughs> you can't make this stuff up. You can't make this stuff up. This is why I tell my sons, ain't no right way to do wrong. Don't even drive. Ain't no right way to do wrong. I'm telling you, ain't no free lunch. Oh, you gonna pay. <laughs> it's gonna come out. What's that saying in the Quran? Just because the arm, just because justice is delayed, don't think that the arm of a law has weakened. And that's for all them slick talkers too. 
Just because justice is delayed, is delayed, don't think that the arm of a law has weakened. Yeah. So either so it says, see, neither of them could really afford a home, afford the home. She had no job and the only income she was receiving was from welfare checks. She received from both DeKalb and Clark County. You follow me? Unbelievable to me. Let's go to the next one. Let's see what this says. I just grabbed some of this stuff and I got some more stuff. It says, statement. In her statement, she first incriminated herself and was granted immunity from prosecution. She claimed she was a victim. While the truth is, she used to do the main culprit promoting the teenage girls and boys who lived on the land to engage in sex and explore habitual habits such as drinking alcohol. Habiba, Abigail Washington, was suspected. And listen, that's the sister that was in the video. Am I correct? That's the sister that was in the video, if I'm not mistaken. But in the video, she says that, that they had stuff on me that they was going to come for me. <laughs> that what she said. I think I got that clip right there. And now here is another source. Here is another source saying that she was the one that was setting up the sex. Man, this stuff is heavy, man. Mm, mm, mm. It says, Washington was suspected to have been in a conf uh, confidential payroll, but uh, uh, Wash Washington was suspected to have been put on a confidential payroll by the FBI to round up enough teenagers that will go along with the lie. Y'all hear that? But now, watch this. Watch this. Watch this. This is critical thinking here. Um, watch this. I could be incriminated. So I felt that, okay, if you tell me a hundred times that it's the right thing to do, if that's what all of the angels are telling me, and as then it is the right thing to do. Um, I didn't feel that it was the right thing to do, but I was being told that it was the right thing to do. Um, and I felt, I felt really, really proud. Now, in this de deposition, she says that basically, allegedly, and correct me if I'm wrong, that actually Jacob York brought her to the FBI. And then that's how the script was flipped. According to this video here, it was Jacob York. Like in the video where I played, where she says that if we do this, we do this, we do that, we do this, we do that, we can sue for a million dollars. It was Jacob York, according to her, allegedly, that brought her to the FBI. It wasn't her just jumping out the window, according to her, in the story that she supposedly recanted, right? But now, watch how we puzzle this thing together. Everything is allegedly, right? But listen, I I never I don't know much about this story, right? But look how I put look at, watch how I pull it together though. Watch how I pull it together just from common sense of what's available, right? It says that while the truth is. She used to be the main culprit promoting the teenage girls and boys who lived on the land to engage in group sex and explore habitual habits such as drinking and alcohol. Habiba Abigail Washington was suspected to have been put on a confidential payroll by the FBI to round up enough teenagers that will go along with the lie to try to bring down the powerful black organization and defame a prominent Native American leader. Uh, Jake York, which would be Jacob, preyed on these young girls 
He said he was getting a bigger house because he had a lot of girls that was moving with him and he needed more room. He went on to say that, quote, there would be a lot of girls moving off the land in Edington. Most of the girls he bragged about having sex with and talked about a lot of their sexual performances and bodies. He also had pictures of, of the girls. He also said that a lot of the girls wanted to be with him. And this is an excerpt from Jake York's best friend's affidavit, allegedly. Now, in her sworn affidavit, the 16-year-old, this is a 16-year-old. In her sworn affidavit, the 16-year-old female explicitly described the events, the conversation, and who was present on this trip. This is the trip where they went to Florida that everybody talks about, where after that, then uh, they hatched a plan uh, to move on uh, Dr. York. Again, I'm not saying that for, for anybody that get into their emotions, I'm not saying that um, he's guilty or innocent. I'm not saying that. We only read this. You follow me? In her sworn affidavit, the 16-year-old female explicitly described the events, the conversations, and who was present on the trip. She stated, all I knew is the trip. It was a bunch of old friends going South Beach, Florida for Memorial Day, May 26, AD, May 30th, 2001. And the trip would be four days, Friday through Monday. All I had was $100. The transportation and food was already taken care of by Jacob Jake excerpt from the 16-year-old. So this would be transporting minors across state lines if this is true. Uh, and this is an affidavit, allegedly, from a 16-year-old. You follow me? So that would be, I'm not accusing him of anything. This is why I got allegedly up here. According to this, and they talk about this trip, that went to Florida. Now, I don't know if you was in Pensacola, Florida. I don't know if you was in Miami, Florida. I don't know if you was coming from one part of Florida. But whatever the case may be, they got a 16-year-old. They got a 16-year-old giving a statement about her and other young people going across the state lines with Jacob York, allegedly. We're trying to figure out who Jacob York is. He came on my show. We're trying to figure out who he is, right? That's all we're trying to do. I'm not accusing him of anything because I don't know him. But when he came on my show and he was so abrasive, you feel what I'm saying? Now I'm like, why is he so aggressive? I, I don't even know you. And, you know, people was telling me the next day, uh, 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 the guy from, from uh, Hoke, he going to tell me, uh, uh, man, you know who that was? You know who that was? Like, well, let me tell you something. Yeah, now I do. I heard him just talking about millions of dollars and, I joke with him about, well, go hit the cash app. He talking arrogantly. I know people at YouTube. And that's the sign of one who has the snitch gene. The moment that they imply that they're going to tell something on you. Y all, y all, did y'all catch anybody ever know anybody ever know anybody with the snitch gene? The snitch gene, it, it comes out. You can't really hide it. You know what I'm saying? I know people on YouTube. You better be careful. That's the snitch gene. Instead of saying, brother, come on, brother. Calm down, brother. Can you, can you, you think you can take that off? You think you can not do that? Because, you know what I mean? Come on, brother. I know people at YouTube. That's the snitch gene. Yeah, it's, 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 it's that gene that uh, 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 that 
that that that that is fed by years and years and years of snitching. You know what I'm saying? It's the snitch gene for real. Because you don't like I would never tell somebody, I know people at YouTube. Even if I did, I'd be like, bro, can you bro? Come on, bro. Don't do that to me. Not me. You don't know me. I don't know you. Come on, bro. I I know people at YouTube. Okay. I do too. I know uh uh, uh cryptonomics. I know uh Sean Sean. I know I know people at YouTube too. That's right, they're important too. Anyway. He provided transportation and food. Everything was taken care of by Jacob. I mean. Let's go to the next one. But the most high is the best of planners. This case is being busted wide open. While now the plot has been exposed. We know who went on the trip to South Beach, Florida. We know that Jake is guilty of transporting minors across state lines for sexual purposes, for running an illegal prostitution ring and exploiting minors for indecent purposes. One of the passengers in the van, rented by the man named of Art, who is known for his illegal activities on this trip, was an underage girl who is an eyewitness and illegal activities in sex ring that was promoted to the passengers before leaving Georgia, allegedly. Let me get this real quick. So, because the reason why I'm reading this, and I'm telling you again, let me let me let me stop for a second. The reason why I'm reading this because when you look at Doctor York's charges, right, whether Doctor York did them or not, and he pled guilty to uh, racketeering, but in the body of it, they accuse him for transporting children across state lines. They choose him, accuse him for all the molestation. Whether he did it or not, that's not what I'm examining tonight. What I'm examining is that it's very weird that Jacob has the same exact allegations against him. Don't that seem odd to you? That this, now, on the scale of which uh, uh, the authorities accuse uh, uh, Dr. York for what we know of Jacob allegations that is alleged against him may not be as uh, 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 big or numerous as Dr. York. However, it's the same type of accusations and it's not it's not i'm not saying this they say that these are affidavits it's the same accusation so the odd part is he talked about getting rid of dr york to be a millionaire with books documentaries etc etc any producer that want to get with me and want, want to put together a storyline, you get with me. I'll show you how I put this together. This stuff is crazy. I need a documentarian. I'm trying to tell you. I got the information. Anyway, then he goes on uninterrupted. He goes on uninterrupted to ultimately become a millionaire. After after his father is out the picture. How that work? How that work? The other night on my show, as Ashante said, he admitted right before the world of things that he committed for the nation. Let me finish this up. 
would you consider would you consider that as a ritual to get the riches? Yeah, I think I think so too. And we're gonna get into that in a minute too. Thanks for your question. Thanks for your question. Um, I want to thank everybody, anybody who has hit the cash app. I'm gonna throw the cash app in there that if you appreciate it, uh I thank you. Um, if you um appreciate it, whether it be the cash app or whether it be a share, um, whether it be a share. Whether it be a share, whether it be a like, uh, thank you so much, um, or a comment, or comment. Look, even if you come into the comment section after the show, it also helps the algorithms so we can really get to the uh, um, get to the essence of this story and hopefully bring some 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 sort of of, of closure to some, if not all, at least some. And that's and to 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 Dr. Queen. To Dr. Queen America, Samerica. When I said I don't want none of your blood money, he said, Yeah, that's right, I got blood money. And what I was referring to is that as Doggy Diamonds was on here and they was talking about the rituals um, of the rap game, and to see that he was connected to one of the 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 the, the some would some would argue the greatest rapper of all time, uh, Biggie Smalls, Notorious B.I.G., as well as Little Kim. Uh, and Little Kim image is, is a sexual image, et cetera, et cetera. You know what I'm saying? So with that being said, um, how do you, how do you get to uh, push something on that level? You follow me? Um, I, I would think that you 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 may you may need some help and assistance. That's just what I think, you know. But but the funny part is is that um, a, a, a brother told me uh, uh, the other day he was like, man, remember remember the song such and such where um, let me pull this up real quick. He said, remember the song such and such where Biggie he said that. Uh, um, something but the cake up and she was messing with my man Jacob or something, something, something. It's like, hey, they was talking about Jacob York. And then I thought about something. Let me put, do this real quick. And then I thought about something when he said that to me, right? Then I thought about something. You follow me? Yes, it's not down yet. Yes. One second. Um, and then I thought about something, right? If I can find it. I think I, I screenshotted it on my phone and I'm going to send it to me real quick. I thought about something that um, that B.I.G. was saying. And B.I.G. was friendly enough to mention him in the song, right? My, this is how my brain works. Y'all got to work with me. This is why I be taking me to get late because I be still getting information. But B.I.G. mentioned, he mentioned B.I.G. and B.I.G. mentioned him in the song, right? So I'm like, hold up. I remember some songs from Biggie that really rubbed me the wrong way. Although I rock with Biggie. Like this line... Right here, me and my B, you look so good that I would, that line right there really bothered me. I could not wrap my mind around it. They was talking about, oh, he was underscoring Richard Pryor. But I could not write because you have to take time to write that. And then he friends with Jacob York. Now, 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 I may be reaching again. This is coming. But it blew me away. That bothered me when I first heard. I wasn't singing that. Biggie, my man. Biggie, my man. 
Somebody say it was sarcasm. Grown men don't do sarcasm like that. Not where I'm from. I feel you. I feel you. Where I'm from, grown men do not do sarcasm like that. Not where I'm from. I mean, you can you can make it whatever you want it to be. But where I'm from, grown men do not do sarcasm like that. Like, we can't make excuses. We can't make excuses. Even as a line from a famous Dolomite joke, somebody said. And somebody else mentioned Richard Pryor. I don't care. We don't repeat that sort of type of uh, 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 type of behavior. That's a mind state. Everything that you say that you can relate to comes from the mind. I got you. No, I got you. No, my bad. No, the DJ. Send me a beat, bro, so I can start a new intro. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? And not only that, one, one only that that bothered me. Now. I'm now I'm reaching. You can call me reaching if you want. I don't mind. I'm just saying I consider these things. You know what I'm saying? So if you want to call me reaching, that's fine. But what I'm saying is I consider these things and it bothered me. You know what I'm saying? Um, Y'all remember this one? Another biggie line. It bothered me when I began to do this presentation. It bothered me. Now, here's another biggie line. We're going to get back to the good stuff. Here's another biggie line. Quick to quick to spit biggie name on it. Make my name taste like ASS when you speak it. See, me in the streets, your jewelry, you can keep it. That'll be our little secret. Hold up now. See me, B? That is. I, that is, G whiz, mother effers still in my biz. Don't think I know my gutter. Up them kidnap kids. Up them kidnap kids. Up them in the butt and throw them over a bridge. Hold up now, Biggie. I'm reaching again. I'm, I'm my apology, but hold up now. But hold up now. You have to think this thing out to put it on paper. Who? So when you find out that Dr. York's son, Jacob York, was instrumental in Biggie stardom, it makes you wonder. It makes you wonder. They Beamer 99. <laughs> I'm with you, Beamer 99. I was rocking with Biggie when Party and BS came out. I remember when it dropped at the college stations. I was like, he going to blow up. But I'm telling you, I'm telling you, it made me think when I was pulling up these files. It made me think. And then, and then, do anybody remember who said, like, yeah, y'all act like y'all was going to throw somebody out the window? Somebody said it to Jacob York on the show. Anybody remember that? Man. Man. Come on now. But it made me think, and that's all I'm saying. I considered it. You know what I'm saying? It made me think because of all of the uh, uh, the homosexual stuff and all of the um, the um, the sexual content coming out of this Dr. York and um, Jacob York conversation. It just made me think. That's all. Nothing heavy. Nothing heavy. It just made me think. That's all. R.I.P. To the B.I.G. I don't even feel right calling them B.I.G. <laughs> I don't even feel right calling them B.I.G. Christopher. <laughs> you go. I, I can't call you. <laughs> I don't call you Christopher. <laughs> I, I can't call you. Baby. This is so good. <laughs> I 
I did no, I don't feel right. <laughs> Mr. Wallace, Frank White or something. <laughs> I don't feel comfortable. <laughs> Not after reading that. <laughs> ah! <laughs> oh man. Are we gonna get we gonna get on Bam too in a couple weeks? Yeah, we're gonna talk about him too. I like <laughs> Yeah. Somebody said that's sarcasm. <laughs> He said, no, he said, no one repeated those lines. Like, like much as we love Big, wouldn't we like, man, where, hold up, man, where'd that come from? <laughs> hold up, man, where'd that come from? You tripping. <laughs> hold up. Stop. Stop the record. My man, let me get, y'all gonna make me lose, y'all gonna make me lose my thought. <laughs> For real. Everybody was rocking like, you know, doing that Jay-Z nod. Then he say he do something to the daddy. Hold up, man. Hold up. Did y'all just hear that? Hold up. Let me play it back. No. <laughs> you want some trouble, old man? I'm going to play it back. No. <laughs> oh, no. Not at all. Don't play that back. All right. Let's get it. Let's get it. Let's throw this back up there, family. I appreciate y'all. Everybody thumbs up, family. But now. We're going to, um, real quick, let's get back into uh, uh, what I was reading. I just thought I had to drop that off. Oh, man, it's 1130, man. I got a lot of good stuff for y'all. We ain't finished yet, family. Please thumbs up and share. I mean, <laughs> please thumbs up and share. Oh, my goodness. So, look. So, it says, after the trip to South Beach, Florida, is when Jake York and Abigail went to the FBI to give false statements about child molestation. The exact date was allegedly 5-31-01, the day after they returned from Florida. The conspiracy is clear. Everyone who went on the trip is connected to either the alleged victims or they claim to be victims themselves. Rakaya Muhammad is Radia Muhammad's sister. When she came to the hotel room in Florida, that is when all the sex began, according to previous statements, allegedly. She lived on Tamaray previously and was good friends with Abigail. Lumel LaRoche, who is seen in bed with Ida Nicole Lopez, the admitted pedophile, who molested several underage boys while living on the land, is the brother and legal guardian of Safa Rocha, an alleged victim who wrote the diary that explicitly displays her sexual experiences and group sex and lifestyle. Last, last, last thing. Uh, I says, they ran into the devil den. I witnessed a few girls who I recognize as sisters that used to be a part of our organization. They're at the studio with Jacob. I walk. Uh, Ayab, Ayub, and I were present, and the conversation I walked in on was explicit. The young girls was talking about sex with their men, and Jacob was manipulating the conversation, moving in the direction of threesomes and oral sex and other explicitly, and other explicit, I guess it should be explicit details. Uh, Jacob was bragging about how he and the boys used to perform Ah, behind sex on girls in our organization when they were younger. I witnessed these things in the community in the late 80s. I was known, it was known, it was a known thing amongst the boys that you could perform, you could perform butt sex on girls to prevent you from taking their virginity. They were often checked and you could get severely punished for those things. An excerpt from Jake Jake York's best friend. Allegedly, this is the best friend affidavit or report or whatever it is. So, where we at? Where we at? Huh? This some this some heavy stuff here. Okay. 
This is some heavy stuff right here, man. Unbelievable. I don't know why the brother would hit the link and come on my show and be so aggressive when there is so much out here that puts him as one who did some of the things that Dr. York is accused of, allegedly. Watch this. Listen to this psych. Listen to this psychology right here. He was in charge. You had control of a lot of things. And so anybody could say this about you and it would be believable because you was in charge. There was no, there was no denying that I was in charge. I was in charge. Um, so I felt, I felt that I had to go along with the story because I couldn't prove anything that anybody would say against me. I didn't feel that I had could prove it. I mean, he told me that once they tell the FBI something, the FBI is, is looking into you. They start looking into me. Now, according to her, he's the FBI spokesman, allegedly. Um, and what I mean by that, I'm just using that term because her claim is that allegedly Jacob York tells her that once they talk to the FBI, the FBI is looking at you. So basically, you better cooperate with the FBI so you don't find yourself on the receiving end of that gavel that's going to come from these things that you're uh, 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 accused of. Listen again. Um, so I felt, I felt that I had to go along with the story because I couldn't prove anything that anybody would say against me. I didn't feel that I had I could prove it. I mean, he told me that once they tell the FBI something, the FBI is, is looking into you. They start looking into me. There was no way that I can prove that what anybody said about me wasn't wasn't the truth or wasn't a lie. There was no way. Y'all see that? And I'm going to tell you, after this show, I don't want a lot of people reaching out to me, think that I'm defending Dr. York because I'm not. What I'm doing is I'm showing that... Um, I'm highlighting uh, Jacob York. I'm highlighting. I'm highlighting Jacob York and the alleged things that he was involved in to ultimately close the space on Dr. York. Let's let's say this: Dr. York could have committed everything that he was accused of. He pled guilty to some things. However. The straw that broke the camel back allegedly is Dr. York's son, Jacob York, hatching a plan, according to Gab, uh, uh, Abigail, to close it in. Hypothetically speaking, let's play the angel's advocate. Let's say Dr. York committed everything. Say he committed everything. But Jacob York now, because this 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 presentation ain't about Dr. York, and, and I will let somebody to come on in the defense of Dr. York, but that's another story. And I will let somebody come in to the opposition of Dr. York. That's another topic. As long as you ain't emotional and all of that, as long as you ain't that, man, I, we just want to have a conversation. But let's just say he did everything. According to what we see tonight, allegedly, to close in on him, it was his son. But now, but now, let's play the angel advocate again. Some people would say, I'm glad he did. That would be, that would be a noble thing if you're a noble person and the, and the suspected one is guilty. But that's not a noble thing if you are committing the acts that you're accusing 
your father of and saying that you witnessed. Because there's a couple victims that have made statements that allegedly Jacob York. Hold on. Let me see what else I got here. That Jacob York was committing some of these acts. I already showed a few. I'm Give me a second. Let me see. Let me see what I got here. Let me see. So someone sends an email out today, right? Let me see if I can find it real quick. Someone sends a, 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 a text out today, if you will. Um, see if I can find it. Give me one second real quick. Let me pull it up real quick. I'm going to read it to you. Um, I think tomorrow we're going to have Uma York on here to respond to uh, the whole K video. Anybody want to see Sister Uma York tomorrow? Press one if y'all want to see Uma York tomorrow to respond to the whole K video. Anybody want to see it? Let me see. I'm going to try to bring this up real quick. Uh, the, 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 the. Everybody say one. Okay, let me. I'm going to reach out to her and see if she wants to respond to um to to the whole K video. So give me one second. I'm gonna do this real quick. Ah man, how did I do that? I need to get that off. So this was a this was a text that was um that was given. Hold up. I'm working with it. I'm working with it. Well I'm working with it. To my sister Uma, it says, and I'm going to read it to you. This was recent. This was today. I'm suspecting. Hello, Uma. I saw your video with you and the brother, you and your brother Jacob. And I wanted to clarify some information regarding the audio you played. The young boy who Jacob sodomized name is Idris. He had a slight disability compared to other kids. Your brother Jacob, according to this, allegedly, your brother Jacob and another Muminum, I might be chopping it up, named Abdul Kabir, his father's name was Tumat, sodomized Idris in the basement of 680 Bushwick Avenue. The Muminum I might butcher that. House around the corner, 1987-88. Your brother, Ayub, rest in peace, and no, was also involved in molesting younger Muminu. This was as early as today. And I have allegedly on there. Allegedly. So. Now, one that has all like I'm showing you one thing. That's what I tell people about my show earlier today. I'm showing you receipt after receipt after receipt after receipt of these allegations. I'm showing you receipt after receipt after receipt of these allegations. Now, along with that, one second. Along with that, we have Man, we can go on for days. We have people in the community in which he's from. We have Gucci Man's verse shook them haters off where Gucci Man says, you the type of B, oldest H-E-double-L still trying to rap, and I'm the type type of uh, N-word, youngest, still run the trap, you the type of freak, da, 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 da. it goes on down. Now, she the type of girl ain't got no 
butt on her back. No, Kirk ain't got no money. And I heard she effing cat. That's Fat Cat Records, which Jacob owned. Now, Jake, that's supposed to be Jake. Now, Jake, the kind of guy that go both ways, think I don't know. I heard he, D and Kirk in the ASS on the low. Now, Jake, the kind of guy, tell you, you're going to make millions, but he's a pedophile on a low effing children. Again, allegedly, Gucci Mane. Now, how in the world do this come from? How in the world does this come from Bushwick into the music industry? Y'all understand what I'm saying? Now, the thing is, I don't know. This is all a legend, but it's all over the place. You follow me? It's all over the place. Yeah, I'm going to get Goo-Wop on the show. I'm going to get Goo-Wop. <laughs> Goo-Wop, goo stop drinking the syrup, man. Goo-Wop, calm down now, man. Goo-Wop ain't coming on the show. Goo-Wop, like, Come on, talk, man. Only way I come on the show if you wear the hat, man. You got to wear the hat. <laughs> you got to wear the hat. <laughs> Goo Wop going to tell me wear the hat. I say, Goo Wop, it's a fez, man. Ain't no hat, it's a fez. Well, you know, just wear the hat, man. Just wear the hat. <laughs> <laughs> What's that noise he used to make? <laughs> That's my man. <laughs> wear the hat, man. You got to wear the hat. <laughs> yeah, wear the hat. <laughs> oh, that's funny to me. <laughs> I used to say it to Ray. <laughs> to Ray now, it's love. Goo wop. <laughs> you got to wear the hat. <laughs> I'm goofy. Y'all got to work with me. <laughs> Oh, my goodness. Yeah. 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 Wear the hat. Yeah. <laughs> Shout out to Goo Wop, man. That's my man. Goo Wop, keep that thing a buck. Oh, my goodness, man. But listen, so that's another thing that we got to look at. Um, Let me try something else real quick. Um. Somebody said it was, I forgot what it was. Man, Gucci man chilled so long, I forgot what it was, man. <laughs> I forgot what it was. That was my bad. Gucci go hard, man. You know what I mean? I was mad, you know what I mean? I was mad when, um, because Jeezy was my man, man. You know what I mean? That was my guy, man. I was like, but when they ran up on, uh, when they ran up on Gucci and, man, I was like, man. I rocks with you, Jeezy, but salute snowman. <laughs> that was real right there. You my man, snowman, but that was real. <laughs> I was like, hey, I'm rocking with Gucci. <laughs> I like you, snowman. I love you. In fact, you my guy, but right there. I got to go with that. <laughs> Run up if you want. <laughs> I got to go with that. Yeah. Um, man, that was serious, man. Uh, but shout out to Snowman. That's he used to be my favorite. He used to be my favorite artist one time. I can't say rapper, uh, but he was one of my favorite artists one time. <laughs> um, let's let's try this again. Let's go into another one. And then not only that, in the in the, in the business, right? Um what I'm looking for. Hold up. I'm good right there. Let me, let me X this out real quick. So I don't go back there. Boom. Get out of there with that. Um, let me pull this up real quick. One second. But I think this is a lot family. This is a lot family. And I'm, I'm hold up. 
So now watch this. I just showed that when Abigail was told to cooperate, right? Check this. As far as Nicole is concerned, Jacob appealed to her because Nicole was in love with one of the younger boys. And so Jacob knew that if Nicole, if they found out that about Nicole, Nicole would be so afraid that she can be prosecuted with that, that she would, she would be also compelled to tell a story about his father because she didn't want to be incriminated for whatever feeling she had. So different people had different reasons. You know, Jacob had different, he, he made everything personal between all of us. So we all had personal reasons for, for being pressured or, or feeling that we had to go through with the story. And according to her, according to her, According to her, allegedly, Jacob was recruiting for the FBI. According to her, Jacob was recruiting for the FBI. Do y'all understand what that? Do y'all hear that? Allegedly, that he was going to everybody that he could get recruiting for the FBI. Y'all follow me? Y'all still with me? Y'all going to sleep? That, man, hold up. Give me one second. Let me. Do something else real quick. When he started to manage Chris Brown, ex ex girlfriend Karuche, I may be saying it wrong. Chris Brown on his Twitter says, talking to Tran, Karuchi, I wish, okay, Miss Tran, I wish you the most successful career ever. But I promise you this, once this talent, quote unquote, you have starts to simmer, so will everyone else, including Jacob. He's talking about Jacob York, who was her manager. All of your famous friends know you. How? 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 Okay. So to end this petty game, that's going to allow you to book more club appearances and movies that go straight to DVD, I'll leave you this heart. What Chris Brown is saying that it's not working out between us. You didn't went and let Jacob manage you and let's see what happened. Jacob gets into this conversation. This is commentary. Ultimately, today, there may be a lawsuit that is still out so Karuchi can get her $2 million or it could be closed. Allegedly, 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 Karuchi has sued Jacob at this point. Allegedly, 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 allegedly. But now, this was the conversation between Chris Brown and Jacob pays for PU, question mark, question mark, question mark, laughing emojis. Look at, look at this bowling ball A N word. 
He looked like an uncircumcised 50-year-old that asked the prostitutes to cuddle and not leave. Now, I don't have a, a horse in a race about this, but I just want to show you a theme going on. Don't let me roast your top half because the bottom half won't be able to digest it. P N word. All you going to do is snitch. All you going to do is snitch and tell the police. I wanted to point that out. Why would Chris Brown, out of all things, say all he's going to do is snitch? There would have to be a working thought that allegedly he has some sort of track record in demonstrating that. Our only point is I wanted to highlight the snitch part because according to Abigail, he and her, oh, he was grooming people to, to go to the FBI. You follow me? He says, so I'll leave you alone, Fat Albert. I'm going to let the fans Google who your daddy is. Cult leader, pedophile, pedophile drink the grape juice, A N word. And the real street N words in the ATL know that you, you a CI. Sing songs. You sing to the police. How is it that Chris Brown Make it make sense. Listen. Out of all things, you would think that Chris Brown will roast him on his um his connection to his father, Dr. York, as he mentioned. But he mentioned more about him being a police. Cut my computer off. Cut my other computer off. He mentioned more about him being the police then his connection to Dr. York. Guess he mentioned Dr. York. But in this conversation, he mentioned it two times. Now, let me tell you something. To be fair, the only thing that I could find that was supportive of Jacob York is his connection to Biggie, Junior Mafia, uh, um, Unrevere. But all of his interactions had no upstanding qualities from what I find. Sounds crazy to me. And then going to come on my channel and talk crazy and then go over there uh, uh, with with with, with uh, 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 the whole K. You know what I'm saying? And like they put my name and stuff. Man, listen, man. I'm only researching. I don't care about anybody attacking me. I'm not responding to anything. Yeah, I'm Diaz. These are the only things that I find. His connected to Cameron. His connection to Cameron. His connected to um, Diaz. His connection to Biggie Smalls, Junior Mafia, Little Kim, but all of his interactions, either with sex or uh, uh, owing money to an artist, and, and you know how the game go. You know that's probably chalking up to the contract. You know what I'm saying, et cetera, et cetera. You know what I'm saying. So I mean, that's business. That's business. Chalk it up to the contract. That's business. You signed the contract. You know what I'm saying? But, you know, that's dirty business. It is what it is if that's the case. You feel me? So, that was, that was, that's what, that that's one of the things that blew me away is that everything that I find. And then, I want to share this one if I can. Let me share this one real quick. And I'm not being petty. I'm just trying to uh, uh, look at the profile of what we get dealing with. 
I'm just looking at the profile. That's it. I don't know the brother. I will still allow him to come on and respond. You know what I'm saying? And then I know some of y'all are too busy listening to his sexuality and not his music, but his project is pretty good. Hip hop evolution is important. Where I'm from, we don't endorse these things. We don't listen to these things. We don't give this stuff a time of day. We don't endorse these things where I'm from. Who endorses things like this? Real men, real women, real people who's trying to develop into their best self. We don't endorse these things, type of things. Who, what, what responsible man or woman endorses these types of things? And it's all connected to and it's all connected to what we're talking about. Whether you want to try to look at the music. But this is a sexual deviant. And you endorse it. That's a problem. That's a problem. And it's a problem only because you have these things that is allegedly accused of. That's a problem. Y'all don't see that that's a problem. Press one if you see that that's, that's a problem. If you have things like all the things that I mentioned, how do you go on a post and endorse something like that. That's a problem. Because you endorse it because you appear to be alleged impulses. And you think it's okay. And just like you mentioned on my show that I did not know the gravity and I'm paraphrasing it, and pardon me if I get it wrong, I stand to be corrected, and if you want to correct me, I will correct it, but that you you really don't know the gravity of molestation because it was a norm. And so now it appears to be a part of the DNA of the psyche that you can endorse something and say, oh, it's the music. It's the music. Mm -mm. Mm -mm. It's unacceptable if you claim to be, I mean, if that's who you are, let's be clear. I want to be clear real quick. If you are a part of that community, then be a part of that community. I will respect anybody who will be themselves instead of faking me out and I got to figure it out. That's just where I'm at. I respect you, salute. How you doing? Keep it moving. You speak to me, I speak to you. I don't care what you do, ain't my business. Care what you do. You know what I'm saying? I don't care what you do with your life. And I hope you don't care what I do with my life. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> it is what it is. You know I mean? um, but the moment, as 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 Rydell says, the moment that it starts to affect my life, then hey, I speak on it, and I think we need to speak on that soon. You know what I'm saying? I think we need to speak on that soon. Um, let me see what else I got here. I definitely think we need to speak on that soon. Um, last but not least. What else I got up? Oh, I wanted to share this with you. I definitely want to share this with you. Um, all right, here we go. Dang, boy, it's a long night, family. It's a long night. It's a long night. Please hit that thumbs up, fam. I'm putting some work for y'all, family. This is a long night. Man, this is heavy information. 
It says, according to the police, the promoter was injured in an altercation and filed a complaint with authorities, according to York. He and Davis were act actually detained by federal agents who were seeking information on hip hop acts. Here we go again. Y'all with me? Are y'all listening? According to police, the promoter was injured in an altercation and filed a complaint with authorities. According to York, he and Davis was actually tabane, detained by federal agents who were seeking information on other hip-hop acts. The whole arrest was set up by the hip-hop task force. So it appears to be a connection to the comment of Chris Brown of them accusing him of being a mole inside of hip hop with the hip hop police. Allegedly. Let me help y'all out. Allegedly. And it says the whole arrest was set up by the hip hop task force in Miami to incriminate Gucci and to get evidence on other artists. So in this article, it's saying that they locked up. They locked him up in order to have the set down. It says that the whole arrest was a setup by the hip hop task force in Miami to incriminate Gucci and to get evidence on other artists York claimed to allhiphop.com. He admits this stuff. We are detained for one day for nothing, all because they stated that Gucci Mane had a warrant in Atlanta, Georgia. But we were arrested by the ATF, DEA, and FBI. Since when do any of them execute state-level warrants? This is the scene to me, the fast-talking stuff that we experienced on my show. But let's read on. But we, Davis is currently incarcerated and in in, in awaiting extradition back to Atlanta, Georgia. According to York, the man that was allegedly assaulted was misrepresenting himself as David's manager and accepting money. He was booking bogus show, so I pressed charges on him for embezzlement, York stated. He got served and then called Gucci and stated that if Gucci didn't give him 25000 that he was going to the police and give this bogus story, and that's what he did. York believes bigger scenario is unfolded. Davis in Atlanta, Georgia, rapper Young Jeezy became embroiled in a bit of feud that saw the two trading insults on a mixtape circuit. Circuit, according to York, the dispute this the stems over the rapper disagreement over the own song "So Icy." According to York, this is what he's telling the FBI now. Now here it goes. Here it goes. Remember, he said it was bogus to. Arrest them so they can get information. But now listen to this line. According to York, the dispute stems over the rapper disagreement over who owns the song So Icy. This is from a newspaper article. It's just retyped up. G Major, look it up. You feel what I'm saying? So now, again, I don't know about nobody else. Where I'm from, that's not my conversation. What they beefing over? I don't know. Ain't none of my business. But according to York, the dispute stems over the rapper. Oh, my bad. Stems over the rapper. Hold on. 
So Icy, which has become an underground club hit in the United States. In May of 2005, five armed men broke into the house where Davis was visiting a female acquaintance. Davis lawyer, Davis lawyer Dennis Sheeb, I might be saying it wrong, described the scenario. One of them had green duct taken out of a brass knuckles and had a weapon. Sheeb said, my client was hit with the brass knuckles and grabbed a gun near nearby to defend himself. A short time later, the body of Henry Pookie Loke Clark was found in a wooded area behind a local school. Clark was affiliated with Macon, Georgia, rap group known as Lockish. Now, lifestyle, Lockish lifestyle, and according to local uh, published reports, was signed to Jeezy Corporate Thug Entertainment. Jeezy has denied all allegations of it of involvement in the shooting and stated that there was no dispute over the track. It was our song, but it, it was always understood that it was for him to blow up. Jeezy, you see, according to Jeezy, it was our song, but it was for him to blow up. But according to York, who don't have a horse in a race with these two brothers, except his connection to Jeezy, I mean, Gucci man at one time, he volunteers information, they beefing over a song. Anyway, Jeezy countered to, what is that? Countered to allhiphop.com shortly after the incident. And that, and that's how it was supposed to be. And was, and I was cool with that. York believed the entire situation is bigger than most people are aware of. The officers knew everything about us. They knew about the beef between Gucci and Jeezy, York recounted. But you just mentioned that. Two of the officers made a joke stating that Gucci should give them the chain that Jeezy, that Jeezy is after so that they could split the 20,000 50-50. The police spokesman confirmed, <laughs> confirmed that Davis was arrested in the city of Miami. P police officials could not be reached for comment to York's allegations as a press time. York said Gucci Man is expected to resume promotion of his album Trap House once he is released. Young Jeezy is prepared and highly anticipated uh, album. Let's get it. Thug Motivation 101. Although Jacob would know being, although Jacob would know being he is a snitch himself, if you notice, everybody touches Everybody he touches is in trouble in some type of way, another, some way or other with cops. So that's an article from the time. Now I'm going to wrap this right now, family, and I might have to do a part two. Um, But, you know, The, the, it's, it, I mean, let me see what else I got real quick. I wanted to do one more thing. Oh, yeah, this is what I wanted to say right here. I like this. Prior to to him telling us about Jacob, I mean, prior to Jacob telling us about um, the civil suit, he showed us um, video documentary on Charles Manson, on um, the Watergate Jude, um, different different leaders that kind of ran cults. And Jacob showed us this documentary. He showed it to me. He showed it to... Now, now, now what's going on here, family? We critical thinkers. If, if she is correct that Jacob allegedly was showing her documentaries about Charles Manson, about Ruby Ridge, or any other thing that was considered a cult. What is going on right there? That's rewiring of the mind. That, and that's a, I think in movies, that's a deprogramming tactic to reprogram. So that's that's like, like, what man in his mind say, you know what I'm going to do? I'm going to show all of these people formal cult movies, and then we'll move forward. That's an instruction given to the, the Somebody just said it. 
The feds trained Jacob to control the wayward followers. Somebody just said it. That's what I was getting to. That's what I was getting to. Because there is no person would sit down and say, we're going to watch all of these movies. That is, that is the rewiring and the reprogramming to re-engineer somebody to do something bigger or different, if you will. And this different thing that was going to be done was to close in on Dr. York. And again, I'm not saying Dr. York is innocent of anything. But in order to close in on him, it appears that allegedly Jacob York set the trap. That's what it appears. Allegedly, 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 allegedly. That's what it appears. And then when he outside of the confines of this group, it goes on with more involvement with the FBI. Alleged promiscuous sexual activities. It goes on. Cole, he basically showed it to everybody that left the community, the girls. Um, and he wanted us to look at this documentary and compare it to his father, the way that we lived. The fact that, yes, we did live with the children, with the children, the parents with the parents, the, the brothers together, the, the mothers together. He wanted us to compare everything that they've been through with us so that we could start believing, we could put in our minds that, no, we didn't live a normal life. Yes, we were a cult. So he showed all of us that documentary so that we can sort of compare the two so that before we even start testifying, we could understand that, yes, we, we were a cult. You know, we, he wanted us to understand that, yes, sort of compare the two so that before we even start testifying, we could compare the two so that before we even start testifying, we could understand that, yes, we, we were a cult. You know, Grooming them to testify. Now listen. I said it would be a noble act if everything that Dr. York did was true. And Jacob had clean hands. However, throughout tonight, we don't see clean hands. We don't see it. We just don't see it. I invite him on the show. And maybe he can help us understand. But this is a lot, family. Press one if this is a lot. This is the, how can somebody say, how can you compare my show, my platform with whole cake? Family, can you compare? Let me let me. I want to ask y'all before I get out of here because I got two more slides I'm gonna do. Family, can y'all we watched Ho K for years, right? All of us, not bar none, bar none. We watch H O, I mean, Ho K for years. How can somebody compare this to that? Y'all see the work I just put in? Talk to me, family. Say something. Did y'all see the work that I put in? This is how all my shows go. How can you compare that to this? You can't, oh, they show receipts. You can't compare that to this. This is something different. We got morals. We got standards. We examining everything. We looking at everything. I ain't angry with anybody. We just laying it out what it is. We just laying it out. And we allow you to make a choice of what you think. I'm looking for the good stuff. I don't see it. 
I'm looking for the good stuff. I'm looking for the good stuff to balance out. I want to be, I uh, uh, say, well, look right here. But the only thing I got is little Kim shaking her behind, uh, Biggie Smalls talking about uh, uh, doing something to some girl daddy. <laughs> That's all I got. I got, I got Gucci Mane calling him this, that, and the third. Like, I, what do I got? What do I got? I don't have anything. But let me. <laughs> I'm gonna let y'all in in a minute. In fact, let me put the link in here. Because I ain't got about one more slide. Let me put the link in. That family ain't going to be up here all night now. I ain't going to be up here all night. So don't be long-winded. Because all of us long-winded ain't going to work. You know what I mean? All right. He wanted, us, he wanted that to be in our minds. So that we can go with that type of mind frame. As opposed to, you know, we were normal. We just all have our own issues. We're mad. But... You know, it's all good. No, he wanted us to believe that, listen, this is the documentary on this cult group, and this is what we lived, and he wanted us to compare that so that we could have that type of mind frame. In other words, it added on to the anger that, wow, you know, this is how we grew up. Conditioning. That's called conditioning. Ah, New ah, University, no, uh, introduce, introduce yourself. yourself. You got some echo. I don't know what that is. Can you get that out there? Out there possible? Um, I don't know what it could be, brother. That's I don't know what the echo is. I'm going to say this. Let me mute you and I'm going to say what I'm saying. I'm going to let you go. I'm going to mute him. I'm going to say what I'm saying. Well, brother, I want to I want to welcome you. I don't know if you're a brother or sister, but because New University really don't say. Uh, But I, I welcome you to the show uh, again. I'm not a Dr. York apologist because I don't know enough. I'm not a Dr. York um, a defender because I don't know enough. Um, so with that uh, being the beginning of our conversation, I do, I am open-minded uh, and I, I, I accept anything that you bring to the table, but I would like you for you to give me some um insight on what I showed here tonight. Uh, and it appears that you may be familiar with it because I see you have some iconic figures on your on your uh on your logo. So uh see if we can keep it short and then uh, I'll have the next caller to come up. Hey peace brother Taharka Bay um, first of all, I want to say, brother, that your information, bro, tonight was pristine. And and I'm saying it was unbiased. And that's what I really liked about it. You know what I'm saying? So I'm going to turn on my cam for a second because I want you to be able to see me. There we go. There the, we go. Peace, bro. Yeah. And see that, you know, I'm a real being. You know what I'm saying? But check it. Uh, your presentation, this shadow hour, was off the hook, bro. You did a very good job, for real. You Thank killed you. it. Yeah, and and I agree with you. You you you're not exaggerating when you say you show real receipts and other shows show false receipts. They show statements and videos, and they go halfway in. They never really come and give us the whole thing. And of course, they're not biased. Now, and it's it's one other show that I know that I see. That's not biased though, and that's Killer Priest them show. I really yeah, like them brothers over there. Yeah, they really, they really let people get a chance to talk, and they do the right thing. But you, brother, the way you treated Doctor York tonight, and I have never seen anybody in the conscious community treat a a, 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 a difficult and you know sensitive situation and a, and, a, and a individual the way you did this shadow hour. That's the way it's supposed to be done. And you didn't abuse him and you separated and segregated him from D Jacob York and Dr. York. You was clear the whole time. It shouldn't be no confusion. Bro, you did a good job. I'm telling you, you killed it. You know, you know, you what, know, I, you know what I think, New University, I think what we do is as <sighs> people trying to be researchers, right? I think what we do is we don't know how to isolate a thought. So my job 
is to isolate the thought. Let's focus on this. We can still talk about Dr. York. We can still talk about uh, uh, those who support, why they support, and those who don't, and why they don't. We're not going to do the disrespect, though. That's not what I want. That's not what we're going to do here. We will accept your opinion. We will accept your facts. But the disrespect is uncalled for. I just think it's uncalled for. Like, why Why are we gods and goddesses, but we got to stoop to disrespect because we disagree? And have people that stoop to the disrespectful level, they're outsiders. It's like they wasn't even up. You ever notice that? Half of the people, majority of the people that stoop to a disrespectful level. I've heard people to say that Dr. York was guilty of the child molestation things that was in and lived on the land, but they still talk with a degree of respect. You see what I'm saying? It might sound crazy to some people, but they still talk with a, a degree of, yeah, Pops did it, but, you know, uh, it was more to it than that. And yes, that, and, and, and you know what I mean? But when I hear Jacob York talk, he speaks vile. He breathes fire. Like you can have your opinion, you can have your experience, but to breathe fire? Something that's in 20, over 20, 30 years ago, I mean, we should examine it and become better if whatever side you fall on. But bro, he was breathing fire. He was breathing fire for no reason. But close out for me. I got three more people in here, brother. Let me know what you got. I appreciate your comment. Okay. I just want to say this, Tarka. You, 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 you know, I know you got to go. So I want you to let me come on to your show another time. I got a lot of stuff to talk to you about. Email me, brother. Email me to alcohol.gmail.com. Okay. Yeah, but I want to come on your show too and talk about Dr. York though. Because I was there too. I've been there since 91. So I want and I want to let you know that the reason why Chuck Morgan is not gonna come on here is because I'm already on here. So he ain't gonna show his face. He gonna run because he a liar and a cheat. And the brother Rick with Jow, he's not gonna come on here. Both of them claim to be right-hand men to Dr. York and drivers for Dr. York. And so did Jacob York claim to be a driver. And they were drivers of children, but yet they weren't arrested. And yet now they want to get out and talk about Dr. York. And may like they wasn't there and they didn't have nothing to do with it. But if you the right-hand man and you the driver, then when was all this happening, Rick? When was all this happening, Chuck? When was all this happening, Jake? With all of us up there and all of those parents up there and all of those people visiting and walking all over the land, when would this happen? And Mark Lamont Hill, another driver. Notice all these people I'm naming claim to be drivers. These are the traffickers. And Dr. York never ordained Jacob York to drive no children nowhere. Jacob York took children to Disney World. What's that? Everybody know that's a, a molestation site. Everybody know what goes on at Disney World. They just had 117 arrests in Polk County, Florida, down there, doing the same thing. So, no, these people are liars to Harker Bay, and they are slandering the sister, the good sister, Uma York. I, I don't know her. I don't have nothing to, to gain by saying what I'm saying. I heard her story, and I know her side of the story is the truth. And I noticed that she was with her husband, and that give her cre credibility. And the other people was alone. That include Leah and Jacob. And another person that you need to do a show on, Taharka, is Sakina, bro. Sakina. Everybody, Sakina. Everybody, yeah, everybody, you, you need to do a show on that. Her and Sarnetta. Uh, her and Sarnetta. Because that'll be the link back to this whole thing. Why the sister saying Sarnetta was in it on the first place and getting paid off. That's the payoff, bro. bro I'm telling bro, you. And it's the reason you ain't never seen me on no platforms because of the simple fact that Sarnetta, Sakina, and all of them have so-called blackballed or whiteballed me from the platform because of what I know and what I say. But that's about it, bro. I took a lot of notes from your show, though. I ain't going to take no more of your time, but let me just check one thing. Um, Yeah. Oh, yeah. 
you know, I just noticed last channel I was on, on Sonetta's show. I got to say that. that when you say Jacob York, Jake the Snake breathed fire, when he came on Sonetta last shadow hour and said that um, his sisters were sex workers, and even when she said, I'm an exotic dancer, he said, nope, still a sex worker. Man, this dude is nasty and low down, and everything he involved with is the police and snitching. And another person you need to do a show on is Damon Price. Damon Price. Do for York. Okay, well, misnomer. Do for your. I'm already working on. Okay, Ian Gunn. Yeah, all these people. And shout out to Amon Numa who posted that video that you played. That's the brother from Pablo's Batu. Peace. Yes. yes, yes. Yeah. Appreciate you, bro. Peace, brother Targa. I'm gonna contact you. I just email me. 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 Email Peace, God. Peace. Peace. So, so then I got uh, Avante Wright. Uh, sis, are you there? Yeah. Oh, oh hold up. I think that was, um, what is that? Um, Mar Mary, Mary Mar Bell. Bell. How you doing, sis? Where you calling from? All right, peace. Peace and blessings, uh, Islam. I'm calling from New York City, Bronx, Islam. Yankee Stadium. And, you know, the uh, and, you know, and, you know, I'm glad, I'm happy what you're doing. I love your research. Much respect. You put a lot of work into it. And um, as a community, we got to hold everybody account accountable. And I just want to say that with, with all this new information, that uh, Dr. York needs some retrial. Because we over here with all the evidence and he's inside, you know, we're being framed. So uh, that, that's what I want to bring to the forefront. And also, um, I want to know who gave Polite that gun to go to the Bushwick building and, you know, really sh shoot the young brother. I want to know who, you know, was it Sakina or was it Leah or was it um, Jacob? Mm. Wasn't he a gangster, though? Ex no, that's what I'm Thank you. That's a good so point. It could, he could have gotten it from the streets. I'm sorry to cut you off. Sir. No, that's cool. But but the, the, the word is, is his relationship with Sakina was bigger than his connection to the streets. I think okay. uh, uh, from my research, his connection to the streets was minimal at best. Polite just showed up one day. Right. He wasn't like, like if you ever notice, even in the early days, you didn't see a lot of, uh, uh, he claimed to be a crip um, superior. I never believed that. You know, you know, he, he, you don't, he don't he don't got that aura. I could read I could read people. He don't got that exactly. that aura. He don't got that aura. And there's a lot of things that that just doesn't make sense. Like why is it that um King Simon don't want to say who's this mystery um reverend that bought in polite? Like what's we, this 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 is this is it. This is the community. But you don't want to say nothing. Yeah, that I, sounds like I, the missing crazy. link. That sounds like the missing link. Um and I think um, if we get to the point where we can respect everybody and not act so overzealous and super emotional, maybe he would say it. But, you know, this conscious community has developed into very sensitive, hypersensitive, emotional, mostly men, too. You see what I'm saying? So for one, one thing I can I can I can understand, Simon, for saying what he's saying to a degree, because these men has become hypersensitive emotional i have people making videos about me every single day hypersensitive they don't make sense about anything and i mean very emotional and charged and so maybe he feels that they will go to the man house or go to his family house and try to do i mean this 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 internet stuff has messed people up sis do you understand what i'm saying so to that for that point, I kind of get it just a little bit, but if we can build to the point where we can have respectable dialogues, whereas though we can try to get to the bottom of things, then we'll be good. But I mean, right now, these it's the men. They hypersensitive. Very emotionally driven. The I never seen it in my life. The women and the children need protection from the men. This woman has been harassed, has been shot, her, her brother has been shot in her own uh, house and no one, not even the spiritual uncle, 
can come to her aid. That's that's some shady, phony business coming from the Bronx. Um, I, I just want to say that I used to do live streaming for um, for Sanetta and for um, uh, uh, King Simon, Brother Rich, you know, and I could, I, 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 I'm gonna tell you the truth. I was never really impressed with, with, with the speakers. You know what I'm saying? Right, right. I, you know what I'm saying? I was like, yeah, I'm working, but what, like who's buying into this stuff? You know, um, I always, I always, ha I always had my third eye wide open, but, I, but at the same time, I'm not surprised what's going on. Um, you know, uh, shout out to Sister Uma York because I'm gonna tell you, it took God and 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 the angels to give her the battery pack for her to come to the platform yeah. and, and yeah. speak up for the children, speak up for the women, and you know, with all this new evidence, Dr. York needs Malachi Z York needs a new trial. And you know what? I think I think in this day and time, just for closure, that would be a. Uh, uh, just a fair thing to do. You know what I'm saying? Now, and again, I don't know the greater details because I don't want nobody on the other side. Oh, he defending that. I don't know enough to defend Dr. Yo. But what I do know is that um, every time I, um, I do some research and I stumble upon something, it's always speculative stuff. Although I did, like I said, I heard the, I heard the young guy that Polite interviewed and he said that uh, Dr. York uh, molested him. I heard that, and then I seen another statement. And many people say, meant, but I didn't, man, that, that file is so big. Uh, I, I didn't, I mean, I don't know. But the point of the matter is, I would love people to come on to represent both sides. You feel what I'm saying? I think that's fair. If, if one would come on and say, he did this, he did that, he did this, he did that, uh, our show is about receipts. Show us what you got. You know what I'm saying? Show us what you got. Because if you can't show us, you know, by person or by sworn statement, admitting, I mean, yeah, I think it's only fair to say it need to be revisited. That's what I'm saying, man. You got the evidence in your platform right here, right now. I don't need it. I, you got it. Nah, I got it, sis. <laughs> nah, sis. It's bigger than that. <laughs> yeah, it is. It's, it's it. so much bigger than that. And my yeah. problem, I'm sorry to cut in on the conversation. Well, let me get, I, let me close out, sis. Okay. Hey, sis, are you good? My yeah, thank, yeah, thank you for everything. You so one much. love, queen, and one love to you, Tahaka Ta Bay. You know, we all need healing, and it starts with us. Amen. And, Amen. The, and, and let me tell you, we're going to be on this story for a little while. I may cut in with other stories, but we're going to be on this story for a little while until we get some form of closure. Uh, and then, hey, I would love to bring everybody on to... Uh, and hopefully figure out where everybody go from here. But I thank you so much, sis. Blessings. Blessings. One love. One love. So, Avante. Oh, Lord. Yes, it is me, Avante. <laughs> How are you doing, everybody? So, my problem <laughs> with the whole situation is I am in the entertainment business. I have been in the entertainment business since 1993. I was also a Hebrew Israelite, right? right. So, and my, my spiritual husband for nine years was Sean Stockman of Boyz II Men. OK, so I was deep. My problem with this Dr. York situation, because I have been and been in the even R. Kelly. I have videos of me and R. Kelly videos and I used to deal with Barry Hankerson. So I know a lot more than mm. putting people together. I am also a victim and I'm also a victor. So I don't like when we choose our victims to believe either we're going to believe the victims of Dr. York and believe the, you know, the, the victims of, I guess, Jacob York. Right. I, I feel like sometimes we get into, oh, we don't want to believe this victim, but we'll just believe that victim because we like her. Right. right. You understand right. what I'm saying? And yeah, I feel it, like it's disingenuous for us to do that. Even when we're talking about Dr. York and we're talking about the young gentleman that polite interview. All of a sudden, it's suspect. We don't believe them. You know, well, I we think need to I think open the situation. I mentioned this, sis. I mentioned this. I don't believe, for the life of me, that a, a a young guy would grow into a man and come before the public 
and break down an experience of that sort if it wasn't true. I just, I can't wrap my mind around that part. You know what I'm saying? Right. It's, so It's kind of hard for me to write. And so, but, but I'm open to hear what the other side have to say too, though. You see what I'm saying? We know what we, the other side is going to say because we've heard his followers repeat some of the things that he's saying. I, when I got kicked out of the Israelites and they had to reprogram me pretty much because I had to, I had to literally walk away from everybody because nobody, because of where I came from, they were like, are you crazy? He got another wife and he, this and y'all doing this and y'all doing that. So I understand how even when I guess Jacob York had to show them cult type of uh, videos, I get that because then you start seeing, oh, sh I might have been in a cult. Yeah, only thing I'm saying about that for Jacob York to be practicing some of the similar behaviors, and then he comes up with this uh, genius idea to show videos. I don't think that's him. But he also was a he was also the son. I know the young, the, the older fellow was like, he's a driver. He was this man's son. And he said That's he was not, privileged. Yes, he was very privileged. And he was his son. And when I say his son, so he looked up, I looked up to my father, who was a drug dealer. Right. And I thought it was cool. So I dated a whole bunch of drug dealers. You understand what I'm saying? Because I got desensitized about what entertained me, about what was taught to me. So a lot of things that maybe Jacob seen or maybe Jacob, you know, he got desensitized. Just like when Uma, the young lady who I, I definitely believe she's a victim. I, my heart hurts for her. But when she said to Jacob, she said, you didn't say nothing? Yes. My thing is this, either you do or you don't. But when you do, don't call them rats. They can't be rats if you want them to speak up. You guys but the difference you? between Jacob is Jacob appeared to be committing the same act. So it's not that he's a rat. It's that, hold up. Why are you, why are you implicating your father if you have the same things alleged against you? What is that all about? You understand what I'm saying? I understand what you're saying. And I am so, like I said, I get what your point is, but I also don't want to go down any type of hole where, where we're not holding ourselves uh, we're being a little bit hypocritical. No, sis. Listen, and I wanted to. This be is clear. why I say we need to examine everything. You know what I'm saying? We need to examine everything. So, so, so if if Jacob York is going to set the trap for his father, as I said, and imagine that uh, uh, if you are of the thought that Doctor York committed everything that he's accused of, but Jacob York sets the trap. But now we hear that there is the same allegations against him. Uh -huh. that, so what we, that need to be examined also now. So as a community, point. everybody needs to be held accountable. I'm not going to even, that's what the feds and that's what the police do. When you want to catch a drug dealer, you don't go to the corporate office. You go to the other drug dealers to get them get, to get, to get, get the un, un, uh, to get the understanding. So I under I understand that part of it, but he does. If he ever, I don't know Jacob. I just know him from around, and I know Kadar and all. I didn't even know Kadar was a part of the Yorks. That's how detached from the story right. that I was. I just know the entertainment business because I've. You know, I've been amongst it very, very deeply. So I'm just saying, like, I just want us to all hold everybody accountable. And that's the all I'm saying, too, sis. But the hearsays and, you know, the accusations doesn't get us anywhere and it doesn't get solutions. It becomes salacious with a word that you like to use a lot salacious. And it just becomes a he, he, he. And we never get any healing because now everybody is looking. We're, we're, we're the scarlet letter. letter. But and in the I black agree. community. And I that's agree. the problem. This is why I get so emotionally triggered. And I'm not emotionally ranting. Like, I don't think anybody's evil or anybody is doing anything wrong. I'm just speaking from a triggered, been in the deep of both victim, Victor, and the entertainment business. And, and, let, and let, me, let me say this before I let you go. Remember this, sis, that everything that I pulled out was allegedly a statement 
made against Jacob. And this show was specifically about Jacob. This show was not about Dr. York. And so to say we need to do all the checks and balances about everybody, I get that. You no. need a drug dealer to catch a drug dealer, I get that. But this show here was specifically examining Jacob York. You and, understand it, what I'm saying? and it geared towards him being more of the monster than the mogul. So that's where my problem was. Is He's that a monster. Geared, you, get, you geared them towards the monster. Show me where he was the mogul. Where he was, well, he has an empire. So uh, for Jeezy and all of these people to be talk, Chris Brown and all of these people to be talking about him, they don't talk about peasants usually. They usually but talk they're talking about, about him. They're talking about him in the same negative, uh, pedophile, FBI police way, though. I, I know, but those are hearsay. You know how the streets talk? <laughs> no, no, we, listen. We, I said this show is about comment, today, too. Though, because Where, of one fool that thinks that you are an agent. So now the a whole bunch of people that I had to delete my comments because I'm like, what? I, but I'm, let me I'm, ask you a question. Yo, Where are the people in defense that he's not? Well, this started, this just started two days ago. And a lot but, of the people that made I can't find defense, nothing online in his in defense of him. I looked. Well, like I said, I'm not defending Jacob because I, I don't know if he's touched little boys or little girls that I, I don't know. And I well, don't want to. Allegedly there's statements out there and uh, uh, audio as well as written that I showed tonight. The point that I'm making is this was about Jacob. I looked, I looked, I looked, I looked. I can't find nobody defending him saying that's a lie. He's not that guy. Okay. Well, if you don't look, you can you can always gear information towards where, whatever you whatever your narrative is. This I'm asking you, works. where can I find the information? I know how that works, but, but I'm gonna let you guys enjoy the. I just wanted you, to can you can you point me in a direction? I, I <laughs> well the the problem is this that I have with that people can always make accusations and sometimes the but innocent don't you, have a defense. Uh, this, sometimes this, the uh, innocent don't have the, a defense. All due respect. All saying, due respect. I didn't do that. All due respect, all due respect. I understand what you're saying. Somebody said, they pulled my record out and they said that I had a fake name named Eric and I used to steal cars. And I get what you <laughs> said. I said, you know what? I never used the name named Eric. I never used the false name. I don't know how to answer that. You know what I'm saying? But this right. is not that. But hold up, this is not that. This is over 30 years of some form of accusations but Sahaka, how do you? He said he never did it. He did what you said. Absolutely. I didn't do however, it. However, however, what I'm telling you is that there is a. Let me show you. There is this, which I'm not going to show the name. There is stuff like this. Asa York, as well as some of his other sons, pursued these victims, knowing that they have sexually abused by their father and Jacob as had, has had sex with a few of his father's victims as well. When he took them in off of the land on into his home, it's like they are victimizing the victims. They are predators preying on the victims, sexual abuse survivors. Now, let me tell you that. That's not the first. I got five different variations from five different people that don't know each other saying the same exact all in thing. the same community. No, these are listen, listen. These uh, uh, are your wait, be, before you go. I, I, before you go on to that, sir, I don't want to look like I'm defending Jacob either. I'm just defending what I think we all should stand on is truth and principles, and let's I, be I get that. let's be let's not be biased. Just I get that. Have. So I'm not defend. I'm just I'm I'm playing angel Sis, advocate. In order, you. in order, in order to do that. You're going to have to bring your truth because at this point, I just bought our receipts. So at this point, you, you have to hear say, sir, no, 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 that no. not. Listen, listen to me. Listen to me. At some point, a thousand people saying the same thing. Doesn't make it facts. All right. Well, if a thousand people say something I think it should be taken to consideration and because it should be taken truth, serious. If you say the if you say a lie so many times, it becomes truth. 
I don't care who you are. You have Donald children Trump. with if, affidavits, sis. If you, you excuse me. You have children with affidavits allegedly. That has been grown and groomed in a community of pedophiles or alleged pedophiles or alleged street thugs or alleged and I do I do like the message that Dr. York was trying to get about. Like when I start looking into it, I'm like, yeah, you know, I wish we had someone or a messenger, as people would say, that was a little bit more clean to get this message out. So we, because listen, you can't, you can't get mad at the hungry if you feed them. And I feel like, yes, Dr. York had a great, amazing thing that he had to, uh, had accomplished, but he, he gave the hungry food, which was this pedophilia. You <laughs> gave the fed food. You gave the state food, which was the pedophilia. <clears throat> but I, I, you, I, sis. I, I digress and I, you know, I don't want to, you know. Are you good, I sis? Don't want you to good? Be, I respect you know, your opinion. I definitely respect your opinion. Yeah, it's just, you know, I mean, I'm, I'm seeing both sides and I just want everybody to be fair. And I just want the truth to come out because I started this, uh, this on polite i gravitated to your show like i was they thought i was one of your agents because they was calling you agent Bay. they was like she's part of his eight because i go hard because i'm very passionate about helping our people there you go from, and, from and the keep that. and i hope you stay on my team because i just want a balanced thing but i couldn't find anything where anybody defended him right i, I feel you all right Good. blessings to everybody all right Peace so with that being said who we got next oh we you gonna get up out of here uh, uh, what we got? Uh, do business? Is that do business? Yeah, what's good with you, man? Yeah, yeah, I'm the I'm the one that uh I'm the one that put the uh, super chat in. I sent you the letter, so I guess you can uh look oh, into it whenever you can. Yeah, I sent it to you. How big is it? How long is it? Uh, it's uh just two pages. It's not long. I mean, but I, I sent it to you though. Let me see if I can find it real quick. Do business letter from jail. Got you. Man, man, tell Doc I can't read that, man. That's that new Wabian language. Now I'm playing. <laughs> nah. so, you know, it's funny to me. <laughs> In Baltimore, uh, uh, when they was developing, the Wabians was developing that language. They was they thought they had something smooth. Boy, they was talking. I didn't know what they was talking about. <laughs> You can yeah, speak no doubt. Language. You said what? I said, can you speak? The, what's the name of the language? Well, I mean, it, it's new. Right. Wapic. I mean, I, I know, I know a few words. Uh, okay, but I mean, I can't just, I can't go fluently. I mean, I know, you know, words like, you know, uh, like if you want to say greetings, you know, uh, greetings. Rahubat. Yeah, Raubat. Uh, let me see. You know, why do? Uh, and uh, in the fur baka. Uh, the first met, you know, it, it has different meanings, but I mean, I ain't dealt with that stuff in so long, man. Right. I was, I was, I was listening to a recording recently. Like I said, I don't know too much great detail, but I was listening to a recording recently, and uh, I think Doctor York was like, he can't get letters because uh, it's not written in English, and they don't understand. I'm a logo, so I see we. That's crazy that 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 you didn't develop a language right here that these Europeans can't understand and they going they going nuts so <laughs> yeah I know right <clears throat> but I mean uh I, I I just wanted to get my take on it uh it's like when you were talking about Jacob York it's, it's kind of hard to not you know include Doctor York with Jacob York I mean from what I heard Jacob York has some kind of uh you know disagreement or some kind of beef with dr york because he asked dr york for some money to you know help him you know within the music industry and dr york was like from what i heard they said you know dr york was like you know they, he he found out that jacob york was you know messing around with little kim and and yep. other people and dr york was like man look i don't support those people you know i'm not down with them so i i can't rock with you like that so and that's the same story I heard too. That's the same exact story that that I not that I heard that I came upon that uh, because of uh, uh, the, I mean, for all intents and purposes, because all of the immoral behavior that was being promoted uh, with Little Kim, he didn't want to put the money out there to uh, Jacob. 
And then, yeah, and then to add to that, the interesting thing, thing about Dr. York is that he never went anywhere by himself. You know what I'm saying? When, when you say, you know, he was always with someone. And then a lot of stories I heard that, you know, he, uh, his house in uh, Athens, his house was open to a lot of people. So a lot of people used to go in and out of, you know, Dr. York's house. So, I mean, it, it, it was open, you know, to, you know, people that was close to him. See, I, I never I never met Dr. York. I wasn't close to him. I got in at about 2002. So by the time I became a new Wapian back then, you know, Dr. York was, was getting in trouble. You know what I'm saying? I mean, it, it, it was it was like crazy because I had just got into it. You know what I'm saying? Because, you know, mm. everybody got their, you know, whatever organization you belong to, you know, everybody got their own little, you know, rules and regulations. So I received my name and, you know, found out what it means and all that. And <clears throat> and then, um, you know, we used to have these revelations we used to do. You know, Dr. York used to write these. Uh, It was sort of like going to school. You know what I'm saying? He used to give us these revelations and you have to, you know, read them three times before you take a test at the end of the book. So, you know, it, it was kind of interesting to me. And, uh, you know, Dr. York definitely did uh, a lot for me personally uh, back then, because I, I, I guess I was like 19 or 20. And, you know, I don't know what it was about him, his charisma, you know, it, 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 you know, the way he spoke, it, it was different from other teachers, you know, such as uh, Phil Valentine or Bobby Hemet. Mm -hmm. And, you know, he, he definitely gave me some uh, supreme confidence as a black person or a black man or whatever, you know, to go out and, you know, do great things. You know, uh, I, I didn't, you know, read all of his books, but a lot of his books, two of his books that I liked was The Mind and Your Potential. And they was some real small books. They was probably like 129, maybe 130 pages. And it was it was very inspirational. So. Like I said, with the Jacob York thing, maybe he did have it in for his father. And a lot of those charges that Jacob York had, they said that they put that on Dr. York. So. Yeah, I'm sorry about that, brother. I got a call. Can you still hear me? Yeah, yeah, I can hear you. Uh -huh. Yeah, but. Um, but yeah, I mean, that's basically what it was. I mean, because like I said, Dr. York never went anywhere by himself and then the, the victims that they said that he you know molested they tested those victims and none of those victims had dr york's dna so the the dr york case is very interesting and you know he got he received a lot of time for that and if you look at the video on the internet with dr york when he was standing before the judge you could tell that dr york was bugged out of his mind and well, the way, when I know, looked at the video, you know, the go thing ahead, is, is, I think I think from I think we need to elevate ourselves to some sort of discipline, God consciousness when we have these sensitive conversations so we can get to the root and get to the truth. You know what I'm saying? Every time yeah. I see people have these conversations, it's always emotionally driven. You know what I'm saying? Like well, what we well, doing well right that's what now, I'm saying. Like we don't what, right what now I was going to say. What we need to do, I'm sorry, my brother, is what we need to continue to do, whether I'm on the side of York is guilty or whether I'm on the side that he's innocent. Once it get emotionally driven, that's when everything goes out the window. Well, see, that's the that's the thing. We, we don't know because, you know, we we wasn't there. But from what that's I seen it. on the video, it looked like they beat Dr. York up and made him, you know, say that he did this. That's just what from the video. From the way he was looking at the judge, he wasn't he he wasn't in his his right mind. It looked like somebody beat the living, you know, beat him down pretty bad and, and pretty much made him confess because ain't nobody in their right mind gonna confess to some stuff like that. So right. I'm I'm not saying I don't know if he was set up, I don't know if he's guilty or innocent. I don't know personally, but for a guy like that to end up in prison doing all that time, it's like it just doesn't make sense because, I mean, he wrote many books, you know, he, he gave many lectures. He helped out a lot of people, gave people homes, you know, provided for people, gave people food. I mean, he, a lot of people said some good things about him. So it just it just doesn't make sense to because Dr. York is different than R. Kelly. You see what I'm saying? Two different people. So, I mean, I, like I said, I don't do you, know. What do you think? And I ask everybody this when I talk to them uh, when they on the side that Dr. York is innocent. Why would why do you think that he was targeted? Well, I mean, 
Dr. York said it himself. He said that in uh let me see. In 19, I think it was 1986, he did a um a lecture called I Swear by the Time. And he said that anytime they want to attack a black leader, the first thing they want they're gonna go after is your sex life. Mm -hmm. That's the first thing they're gonna do is talk about your sex life and and make you out to be a monster. And it, it's kind of like Dr. York predicted his own, you know, fate or whatever. He said it back in like 1986-87. I mean, I was too young to remember, you know what I'm saying? But right. I heard that he, I heard it on a CD. So I'm like, you know, the dude was, you know, very smart and intelligent. So it's like, I just don't understand how people like that end up in prison because he, I mean, he wasn't a gang leader like Larry Hoover or Jeff Fort. So, I mean, he, he was doing some good things and he was always busy and he was, you know, helping people in the community, you know, out in Georgia. So it, it, it's just crazy. You know what I'm saying? I mean, I, I just don't get it. On the flip side of that, you know, there's some people out here that, that put up some convincing arguments that say that they were on the land. They actually witnessed it. They actually talked to victims. And it's many, many victims. You know what I'm saying? Um, what do you have to say to those people that said that they lived through it? They actually seen it. They experienced it. Or even say themselves that they was a victim. Well, I mean, I, I've, I've been on the land plenty of times and I never felt like somebody was going to do something to me. And it was always a safe place to be. Like if you ever would have went down there, it was the closest thing to heaven I've ever seen on earth. I'm just being real with you. I ain't never seen no place like that. <laughs> I mean, seriously. I mean, it, it was away from Atlanta. You know, it, it was out in, uh, I think, like Putnam County or something like that. Um, Milledgeville. Very safe place. So if this man was doing all these things to these people, well, I mean... <laughs> They should they should have been said something about that in the nineties because he got down there in in like ninety or ninety one, and he don't get convicted until like two thousand two. It doesn't make any sense because if somebody do something to you like that, you're gonna immediately report them. You're not just gonna let them walk around freely. It doesn't matter how much power they have. If all of these people that said it, that Doctor York did this to them, why didn't you say it back then? Why would you continue to be a new Wapian or continue to go to the land and participate in, in why would you still go to his, his lectures? Why would you still read his books? If this man is a monster, you should have said that back then. And and people probably would have believed you, especially if you're a child, but you got to, I mean, when you went to the land, nobody was ever held hostage. You know, it, it was families there. I mean, it, it you know, we used to have things like the ball. I mean, we used to have a good time, you know, get together and, and it was all love. So, I mean, I just don't get it. Let me say this. I, me say I this. really don't get it. Uh, uh, my brother Isamadi said, Jacob and Leah said something correct during Ansar, Ansar era 1970 through 90. There was no culture of pedophilia in the community. In fact, you're wrong, Isa. Everything that I'm talking about happened uh, uh, in 88, 89 for the most part, not everything I talked about, but many of the allegations against Jacob York is in 88 and 89 uh, in Bushwick. Many of the allegations are 88, 89. So uh, them, them allegations um, about the, the thing I just read about the, um, the, the, uh, 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 in the basement of the house in Bushwick and those like, it's a bunch, it's a few things that I read that in 88, 89, they was, on that on that level, uh, according to uh, uh, affidavits or sources and whatever the case may be. But I mean, brother, I mean, I mean, I mean, no, I mean, go go ahead, go ahead. But I'm talking about Jacob. I'm talking about Jacob there. But let me do this. Yeah, real I mean, quick. yeah, yeah. Jacob, like I said, I mean, I, I never heard any good things about this dude. Even that's, that's what I was trying uh, to tell the sister. I didn't. I can't find nothing. That's what I'm saying. Like even uh, it, uh this rapper um. Uh, producer named uh, Polo the Don. He was that uh, out of uh, Mobile, Alabama. Him and a guy named Rich Boy, you know what I'm saying? They used to rap in the rap game and do all that. Even Polo the Don was like, it was, I saw it on video. He was like, when he saw Jacob, he was telling the cameraman, when you see this dude, just run. <laughs> That's what Polo the Don said about Jacob. So I'm like, nobody has ever said any positive things about this dude. He's always been labeled as you know the police untrust you know oh, oh, not oh, oh. trustworthy you know Absolutely. like a devil 
basically. And I was looking for stuff. I couldn't find much. But let me let me get this. You want to read that letter real quick? Let me let me see what I got here. Yeah, I go, go ahead, go ahead. Let me see what I got here. Hold on one second. And then I'm going to get the last few people and I'm going to get out of here. Um, in fact, I, hold up. Well, I mean, the first time. beginning of the letter, you'll see, uh, is dated at the top. So that's the that's the first beginning. And then, um, well, you, you, you'll see it. When you see the, the date at the top, right, that's the first beginning of the letter. And then the other uh, piece I sent you, that's the end of it. You're right, right. All right. And it said, o OEO will grow, grow, grow. And it says, May Timothy. Rabinah. That might be uh, May Timothy to Rabinah. Okay. I got your letter, my son. And I thank you for not forgetting me. I'm doing well. Spent spreading the word in here also. Plus, I. I just got finished some new books for you guys out there. Thanks for your letter of love. And if and if you sent me money or and if you sent me a money order, thank you for that also. It helps. Well, I hope you keep up prayer for me. And now and now may you uh and new Wabian. And now and now I'm, I, I can't see what that is. And now that you are a new IP. Oh, okay, okay. And now, okay, I got you. And now, man, I thought I, man, come on, Doc, you write like I write. No, I'm playing. And now that you are a new IP, you are, you are home in the truth, the real deal. Make it your life. One day will come. One day, make it your life. Our day will come. Their time is really up. You will shake my hand and sit and talk with me face to face. It's up to you to help make that happen. If there is no all eyes on Egypt stone in Birmingham, Alabama, open one, spread the word. Hold up. Let me see, I got the other one. Open one. All eyes on Egypt stone in Alabama. If it's not one, he said, open one and spread the word. Hold up, let me get the other one. And just get another one. Hold up. I'm tripping. All right. Open one and spread the word. I think that's it. Bam. Open one and spread the word. Just call the officer and ask the sisters how you can get a stone. They will help you. Also be... I think it said also be a part, show up on the land, show the world. They did not stop us. Our new Wabian family is strong than ever, stronger than ever and growing each day. Do your part to help save people the way it helped you. Well, my son, Timothy, we have our father's work to do. One love to you. And so who he was talking to, who was this letter to? Yeah, I mean, uh, he was, I had wrote him. So I wrote him and then he wrote me right back, you know, I guess like a couple of days later. And oh man, that's, that's, that, that's, you see what I'm saying, man? Like, you know, back then I was, I was, you know, I mean, I'm, I'm still a young man, but I mean, I was younger, you know, you know, you know, starting college or whatever. I was going to this community college. So when, when, it, when he did that, he put a spark inside of me. You see what I'm saying? And I've been on it ever since. You know what I'm saying? He 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 basically showed me that you can get up and 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 do whatever you need to do as a man, and, and just have some confidence in yourself as a black man. You know what I'm saying? And 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 that's pretty much it. He he put some type of spirit inside of me. That's I don't know. Somebody say it's a store. My apology. Somebody say it's a store. Get yourself a store. Yeah, a store. I got you. Thanks yeah, I mean, it, I I don't know what I don't know who this you know I never like I said I never met this guy, but what he did for me, man, was, was very inspirational, and just like you know Noble Drali did for you know brothers that follow the Moorish community or right. anybody, is we 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 need that. You see what I'm saying? Because I lost my father at a very young age. You see what I'm saying? So, you know, Doctor York, I'm always gonna have respect for him and 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 you know honor the guy. You know what I'm saying? Uh, 
I'm never going to turn my back on them, but I, I, I wasn't there, you know, uh, with these people that said that they did, he did something to them. I don't know. I can't speak on that. I just know he did good things for me. Like, like before I let you go, if you was to hear one of the victim stories, how would that make you feel? One, one of the alleged victims, let me put it like that, because I only heard, like I said, I only heard the one sitting on the bench talking to Brother Polite, and I think I've read about one. Because for me, for me, like, I have to, it, something in me said, I don't think a man would just say these things. He was graphic, too. You know what I'm saying? But I don't, well, but, that, not, but I don't well, pass I mean, condemnation either. So I'm not that type of person to pass condemnation. You know what I'm saying? But because I really got to think about it though, Taharka. Like sometimes people will lie. Just think about it. Sometimes people will lie on you if that is the narrative of the story. Sometimes people will make up stuff just to get attention. I mean, I, mean, I know it sounds crazy, but and, and I understand what you're saying. Like I believe that. I believe that too. You know what I'm saying? So, I, but I think at the same time, if a, if if a guy is saying that another man. Uh, sexually molested him when he was young. It's, it would be hard for me to say, you know, just like you said, I wasn't there to try to accuse him of trying to get an attention. I would just take it and then try to hope I can hear the other side one day. That's my position. Yeah, you I mean, I, I got you. I'm not saying that the, the the quote unquote alleged victims of Dr. York are lying. It's just, it just, it just, it's it's just funny to me that they talk about it after he gets locked up. You, right. you, you didn't do it back then and, and you talking to the you, you know that interview the dude did with polite what you talking to polite for you need to be talking to the cops <laughs> <laughs> you know I what i'm saying crazy. like if, you know if, if, would you, if polite ain't no cop you know what i'm saying <laughs> yes, yes. No, I'm <laughs> <laughs> but let me get to somebody else here brother do business i appreciate you we'll be back tomorrow uh uh with uh uh, uh sister uh uma to respond to uh uh Okay, uh, so I hope that I see you in the building tomorrow. Hey, no doubt, man. Hey, I'll be on. I'll be man, on. I appreciate you, man, I, and I love your story, man. I really do. I really love your story. I'm gonna hold that uh, into my file, and I think in the future, I probably you probably see me use it again and talk about how inspiration works. You know what I'm saying? Because I can I can take the essence of a, of a situation and separate it, as I said today, uh, categorize it or isolate it and use that for somebody else. You know what I'm saying? For inspiration. So I appreciate it. I thank you, bro. And I, and I just want to say one thing before you go. I, I know you're in Baltimore, Maryland. I used to live there. I, I got some family up there. Not in Baltimore. Even, you ain't live in Baltimore. Oh, yeah. I, I was in Gilmore Projects, man. No, like, no. Once, man, man, listen. Once you're here, you can't leave. You're stuck. Especially in Gilmore <laughs> Projects. Y'all show me so by, much by love John up Hopkins. there, man. I, I love Be More, man. Ain't show that, me mad that, love. Man. East by, by John Hopkins. Yeah, Gilmore. I, look, I, I don't know what side of town it was it's, on, but I, East Baltimore by John Hopkins, man. It is, it's right by John Hopkins, killing everything. Nah, let me stop. They used to. Uh, yeah, it was rough. It was rough, you know. But they still show me love, though. Yeah, <laughs> man, them projects in Baltimore they ain't got no grass. <laughs> <laughs> Straight streets, all man. Top, all black top. <laughs> no doubt. In little patches. No, I'm just playing. Shout out to Gilmore. That's one love to you, my brother. All right. I appreciate you, bro. All right. Peace. All right. Let's get uh, El Masai. El Masai, don't keep me all night. I got my brother D. Calico up in here. El Masai, are you there? Islamism. Islam. Islam, brother. Brother, brother hit me with something powerful so I can go get some rest. I got to get up at 6 o'clock tomorrow morning. You got me? First, I want to say I'm gonna salute you tonight. I crown you tonight because I my mouth been longest Texas mad at you. You understand? Well, but why? I'm gonna salute you. You know what well, I mean? Why, hold up. First, let's deal with why you was mad at me. I was mad you know, at I you. I'm a, I was mad at you on the strength. I can get a lot of calls from all over, from all over. When I say all over, all over where Malachi put a flag at. You understand? I know every city and state where Malachi put a flag. I know everywhere outside of the United States, 
where Malachi put a flag in. So I get calls and text messages about your shows. So my mouth was long as Texas about you. So I tuned in tonight to see how you was going to channel this. So I'm going to salute you tonight, but I just want to camel back real quick and I'm going to get off. Okay. You know, you know I owe you one when I see you though, right? Already. You know what I mean? Up on you. We're gonna have to do this like brothers and then you know what I mean come out. You know what I mean after the after after we thump. Already, you feel what I mean? <laughs> you know, you know what it is, logos. Um <laughs> I know it's logos, and you so, used to be my man, but but I'm we still got your man, but I just told you I, I my mouth was long as Texas, so I, I I salute you tonight, okay? I salute you. I'm gonna give you the crown tonight, but let me camel back though, you know what I mean, to, to clear the airwaves. Come on with it. The brother that just got off. See, if the peoples that's listening to your platform, HOK platform, or whoever platform, if you got eyes to see and ears to hear and a heart to perceive, Hawk is very easy to receive. I'm going to say it again. Truth, Hawk is very easy to receive like clear water. Now, the brother that just got through speaking, he said he came around in 2002. So that means there's a lot he doesn't know. I'm going to say it again. He said he came around in 2002, this 2021. So that means there's a lot of information that he doesn't know. I ain't talking gossip. I'm speaking knew why being more information for us, the Katab. Another issue, the letter. We as Nuwabian Moors, we know that Malachi, this us. Now, like I say, I've been with Malachi since my birth, born and raised on the west side of Chicago. My family come through by way of Ben Ami. I got receipts to show the sister who says she was Israelite. My family left with Ben and me in 1969 off the south side of Chicago and went back and connected with the Fulani tribe in Ethiopia. We talking receipts. I can show this now. So whoever that sister was that was saying she was Israelite, you understand? I'm finna put some facts on the table so ones can understand. The prophet Yusuf, Joseph, he was accused of rape and stayed in prison 13 years before Anu Aliyun Aliyun Il, who we called in rhythm, Allah allowed him out. I'm going to say it again. Yusuf, Joseph, was in prison for 13 years for rape before he was allowed out. And that was a false accusation that was placed upon the prophet Yusuf. Am I correct, Professor Tahaka Bay? Absolutely. Okay, that's another fact, okay? Now, Israelite, Nuwabian, ETC, all I'm saying, Tahaka, if you gonna do your platform, you can do what you wanna do, but to respect to the Nuwabian Moors, listen how I said that. Nuwabian Moors. Because we knew why being moors. So those that say they knew why PNs separate us from the new YPNs because apparently they don't know that when Malachi, Naya, Malachi, Zodok, York, Ill, when he established the UNNM Constitution, January 26, 1992, a governing body was in position, I'm going to say it again, again, <laughs> in June 26, 1992, a governing body was established when he drew up the UNNM Constitution. And that governing body is still in position in 2021. So you individuals that's talking your talk, Asking Professor Tahaka Bay to bring on Chuck Morgan. Chuck Morgan is running from me. Who am I? I am Yahshua Badawi in the flesh, the Khalifa. 
Tunaya, Malachi, Zodok, York, Eel. And I've been sitting in the seat ever since 2007. I'm the crown prince. I was the only one on, on the land, allowed on the land, out that they so-called kidnap Malachi. We as Nuwabian Moors, we know that's not Naya, Malachi, Zodok, York, Eel, who they have in ADX. So all you individuals, that's talking that free Malachi, free Malachi. The last time you individuals that's in the chat heard Malachi voice was in 2004. I'm going to say it again. The last time the public heard Malachi voice was in the year 2004. Brother, let me ask you a question, and maybe Come we on. can bring you back on. You've been on, and you've been on here before, but maybe you can give us a history besides what you just said. If Malachi Z. York is not incarcerated uh where is he if you could for because everybody's saying oh 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 okay that's a good question tahaka listen you state consistently consistently professor that you got extraordinary investigators so yeah. i'm asking you listen send your investigator team to fact check what I just said, because we as Numarian Moors know that's not Malachi. Listen, if Yahshua by Marion was able to transfigurate 2021 years ago, what make people think that can't nobody transfigurate in this day and time? I want to say something else to talk to Haka. Polite and out of respect. I'm asking you to stop it. Stop attaching polite to Malachi because he said it out of his own mouth along with the young lady. He never met Malachi. He never been on the land. So stop attaching Malachi to polite. Two, listen, hold up, uh, listen. Two, polite stated to Haka. He started a new movement called New Covenant. I'm but saying let me, let me interrupt real quick. Let me up because I don't want to get this long drawn out. Come on, brother, come you can on, come back on. on the show. Come on, uh, I just want to get it out. Yeah. You got to understand that Polite said that uh, uh, Doctor York is his god. That's what that don't got. We respect that, but I just said with said facts for him saying that was his God. That ain't got nothing to do with his mannerism. Don't no, 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 attach no, 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 Malachi no, 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 to no, no, his no, no, mannerism. No. You you have never seen me uh, associated a uh, uh, polite or any other. Just like I talked about Jacob York tonight, um, I isolate people that I talk about. I don't cross reference and say they doing this because of this. I isolate them. You know what I'm saying? And we talk about that person. So I've never done that. That ain't what I do. I don't know if you ever heard me uh, uh, connect that, but uh, uh, only only association that I give polite with Dr. York is his affinity for Dr. York, as well as him calling himself a new Wabian um, in the early days. We, we respecting that. But he said he established the movement called New Covenant. Did you hear what I said? I got new you. covenant. That's not new Wabian Moors. You understand me? New covenant. So stop affiliating the new Wabian Moors with new covenant. Stop affiliating new Wabian Moors, professor, with new Wabian. No, 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 listen, listen, brother. The, I think the question would be is to uh, uh, for polite to. Uh, make a statement distance no. himself he's never yeah, been he said that because uh, he said he's the leader of the new no, covenant no who, new covenant never took off he's well we ain't got nothing to do with that it. see listen no, what you just said if it never took off that means we don't have nothing to do with that stop no, saying no. that he knew why because he knew covenant no he called himself a new wapo that's him he you dropped it. Uh, up with this what I said. He dropped it and said he when? established new covenant. He no, no. said that long time ago no, no, no. on HOK. Uh, listen, listen. Uh, give me the screenshot uh, where he says that, and uh, I will pull I it up. Uh, and let me let, let me let me say it. Let me pull it up. I I I, I got everything when you went up there and tap dance on Sarnetta's show. You understand? And there's no disrespect. He specifically stated he could not walk in the shoes. 
the Calico. Yo, 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 yo. What's up, my hey. brother? I ain't gonna lie, like, you know, I already know the brother right there was, like, kind of long with it. He was hitting on some good stuff for a second, though. And I ain't gonna lie, like, he really well, he really well, took the words out my mouth. Well, you know well, what I'm saying? Right, well, right now, he hitting his phone, wonder why he ain't on the screen. Yeah, yeah, you know. We we yeah, not gonna do we not gonna do goofy, we're not yeah. gonna do ghetto, we're not gonna yeah. do outrageous uh, uh, nonsense for long periods any longer on this platform. We just not gonna do it, and I don't care who don't like it. We're not gonna do it. We're gonna be civilized. We're gonna be gods. We're gonna be goddesses, and we're gonna respect one another. And I'm gonna be patient um, and let you talk crazy. Uh, telling me what to do on my platform, telling me how I need to call people and conduct. I'm going to let you do all that. And then when you finish, I'm going to go ahead, show you the door. And you hey. can your own platform and make a video about me hey. that I'm not hey. going to respond to. But hey. you, hey. my big bro, talk to me, Calico. Hey, hey, Tawaka, man. Like, they just started following you probably, right? So they don't really know. You've been doing monumental videos like this every year. You do the most monumental video on YouTube. Nobody just, I don't, I don't think they know. You know what I'm saying? Bro, I ain't, I ain't even got to name them all right now. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Because yeah. hey, you've been bro, there with me. I've been there. Bro, bro you, man, and you go at the real threats. You know what I'm saying? Everybody else scared to say that shit, bro. You feel me? <laughs> but you go at that shit like an attack dog, brother. You feel me? <laughs> I appreciate so, you, bro. You know what I'm saying? Like, bro, you the leader of the new school, bro. I ain't no lie. Like, that hey, other bro. shit. Hey, man, stop. Man, stop made me mad. Man, man, you seen how happy he was to have had that same motherfucker on the show? He was, man, it didn't make no sense. Like, man, bro, you bro, I, watched show, I watched his show, and I cut it off when he came on. I cut it off. You know what? You know what's funny, Calico? You know what's funny, Calico? Is that Whole K was the leader and the trendsetter one time. Yeah. And that, and, and people would accuse me of trying to be like that. You hear it all the time. He looked like Saturday, he act like Saturday. And now he's following my trend. Man, y'all yin and yang. He's following you know? my, he taking the guests that I don't have on my show or that I have mm -hmm. on my show. Rejects. And, rejects. Rejects. Yeah. Unbelievable. Unbelievable yeah. to me. And this guy was the one who set the pace for all of us. Man, but he, but he always... He, he, if we looked at that phoniness and say, man, we don't want to be that. Yeah, you set the pace. But, man, we're going into another, another era now because you didn't go crazy. You have no integrity. You's a creep. You's a snake. You's a fraud. Use a virus, and you started a HOK virus phenomenon where these new YouTubers think that to come in, you can just stand up, talk crazy, no receipts, no, no, uh, 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 um, no real content, snatch people content, talk about the content, and that makes you a qualified yeah. uh, person to speak on something. That's the HOK virus bro. bacteria effect, bro. Hey, bro, you already know. I done seen. You drop the information, and I done seen somebody who watched your video make a video and call themselves Sherlock, like they found all the information they sell. Bro, I watch, I watch the same thing. I watch people troll my Facebook, troll my channel, troll. I mean, I watched somebody as recently as the day trolled my Temple's backup channel and said, Oh, what he teaching? He can't get such and such views. Goofy, is up. I don't even use that channel. Where do I teach at Calico? Right here, right now. I'm Thank talking you. about Facebook everywhere. You know what I'm saying? Thank you, Calico. Real. Calico, every Friday, don't you see me teaching? If every, you catch it, every, yeah, every Friday, yep. holy Sunday. day, holy day. Come on, come on, Calico. You know what I mean? Yep. And so it's just unbelievable to me. That's why I don't respond to these people no more. Because like you said, but anything, Calico, you got to hey. text me tomorrow. Remind me, bro. I'm supposed to be putting hey. you back in rotation. I've been busy lately, though. Man, man, I'm trying to be on that that, that more you're going to remember. You feel me? The remake. Bro, bro why, don't you, why don't you send it to your people? I'm going to send you the beat, man. We, we, we get a remix beat and redo it. Let's do it. Hey, yeah, that's for sure. Hey, hey the only thing I was going to say about 
like the brother kind of jumped on it. He jumped on it because it, it's a difference between new YBN and new YPN. Like there was never a such thing as new YPN until Dr. York got locked up. So these guys are the feds. You feel me? We can't right. trust them. New YBNs, they're Moors. That's why everybody's seen him in court dressed like a Moor. He was a Moor. He's never been a new YPN in his damn life. You feel me? But that's all we hear about new YPN. Nobody says new YBN. So the brother got something going, but he need to, you know, release that tension and come back correct. You feel me? Indeed, indeed. And and, and and in fact, you're absolutely right. When you when you see uh Dr. York in um in court, uh he got the he got the got the fez on. So uh man, a, man, Dr. York literally said the letter P perverted the B, meaning the, the letter B came first. This is in his books. So he would have never used the letter P. Never, ever. You feel me? But yeah, I, I appreciate you, bro. I don't know a lot about that, so I appreciate your insight. I appreciate you, bro. Have a show, peace. Yes, indeed. So this is my sis. Always got me, got my back. That's why I saved her for last to take me out. Sorry it took so long, sis. My apology. Uh, help me out, sis. What you got for me, Sister Candy? I just want to say to Haka, I am, you have really, really outdone yourself. <laughs> Go ahead, I have sis. to say that you always bring the truth. I love the fact that you are always unbiased and just do, you do an awesome job with your research. I cannot say a thousand I love you to the to the way that you handle yourself on this channel. And I'm so glad that you hung up on Jacob. I'm so glad that you hung up on the man that was just talking because you are right. We must conduct ourselves as the queen and kings that the Lord has put us on this earth to be. Absolutely. We must speak with intelligence, have respect for one another. We can disagree, but it does not have to be disrespectful. Absolutely. And on this channel, uh, Sister Candy, I, I, I'm going to make it a business of mine. you seen times I get hyped up and I get worked up. I'm not going to continue to get hyped up and worked up. You know what I'm going to do? I'm gonna no, go be with. yourself. I like the hyped up. No, I'm talking world. about, the, I'm talking about if, if people try to get a rise out of me. You know what oh, I'm saying? Okay. I'm not going to let you get that rise out of me. And if you do, I'm going to just get you off the channel and I'm going to bring it down. And we're going to yeah. get back to business. You see what yes. I'm saying? Yes. Business is what is most important. I want to say, I don't know how exactly you and Um got in touch with each other, but I'm so glad that you brought her to the platform. I'm so glad that she was able to share her stories. There are so many women out here that have been abused that have been treated by their own family like trash to be swept away and they don't have a voice. Um gave those young women, ladies and queens, a voice. And I stand with Um. I believe her story. I don't believe Jacob. I don't believe Leah. Yeah. I believe they showed their true colors in trying to totally just disrespect her in every way, shape, fashion, and form by saying that she needed medical help. She sounded like a woman that was very strong on but your you show. It's funny to me that although they say that right, that when she was telling her story, do you know initially? She was just telling her story about the experience with Brother Polite in the house on Bushwick. She never mentioned them. We wouldn't know them if they didn't appear because she exactly. never mentioned them. Exactly. Well, that Jacob shows you the insanity. That shows you, the, you understand what I'm saying? That's, I, 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 could see, I could see if she was coming for them, naming them and coming for them. Like it's one thing of telling a story and somebody is a part of the story and you know you name names something like that. That's one thing, but she was not bringing a lower vibration to nobody. She was telling her story about Brother Polite, and out of nowhere, here come the vultures. Unbelievable to me, unbelievable to me. And 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 to look at Jacob York to come and hit the link and call her Leah. He's ready to battle with Leah that's not even Leah. He didn't even know who he was talking to. He didn't to. even know who he was arguing with. And then go back the next night and team up with the same people 
that he that the same person he's ready to battle with in his mind. How crazy is that? That's so crazy. Yeah. And, and the thing is, let me tell you something, Sister Candy. People ain't ready. Because again, I talk to um, Sister Um, and I can't wait to finish talking to her husband, that they are going to help bring healing to a lot of people that have been victimized. And I don't call our family victims, but they have been victimized. And they will have a voice right here. Pretty. Well, she is a survivor. After all Absolutely. of what she's been through, she is a survivor. But I That's will true. tell you one part of that, that as you say, whole K that I watched was when the sister Leah said she chose to go to foster care. What child would choose <laughs> foster care because their mother had healthy food in the home at 15 years old? She had already had many a year of eating healthy. It just didn't make sense. It just didn't make sense. Didn't make I, sense. I felt like, what is? The, why do you have to think so low to try to make her feel like, you know, to try to paint a picture of her and, and admitted that she kicked her down the stairs like, you're the evil person. You're the ugly person. You would kick your sister in the back while she was walking down the stairs, that is, you're, that's disgusting. That's disgusting. But I will just say that I surely appreciate you. Taco Bay, I appreciate you. I really, I appreciate your show. Um, Cryptonomics, Sean, Sean, when I was coming on here just as a person watching, I actually caught your show a year, a year, at least about a year or more ago when, um, Amada Shakur, Queen Amada Shakur had mentioned you. And I said, well, let me go over here and check him out. And I have watched you ever since. So it <laughs> Thank is you, my, sis. It Thank is my, you, sis. my honor to be a moderator on this channel, as well as to understand that you have really opened people's eyes with that snake uh with the with the fake gun and the flap jacket and all of that, <laughs> that yeah. you, you do an awesome job you have to awaken our people so that they can realize that some of these people that they are following will lead them right straight to hell absolutely absolutely and i appreciate all that you do as a mod sis and i'm telling you we're going to take it all the way this is why i say i'm not going to um I'm not going to respond to these parasites. I'm not going to, because we want to take this to a whole nother level. You know, it's some channels out there that are pretty big and they don't do the work that we do uh, in informing and waking up people and challenging. Man, you know, the brother, the, the brother uh, Jacob uh, threatened that he knows somebody at YouTube you, and I, I still go on with I the show. Say. And I still I go on with the show. Like, and I'm going to still go on with it. Okay. We'll deal with it, but we're not going to let that prevent us from telling the truth. And so our plan let me is say this. a whole nother level. Let me say this. I saw the van today and it looked good. Talk to him, Candy. Wait till it I put good. Let me tell you something. One of the supporters and one of the donors reached out to me when I got it. And he said, once you finish doing everything you need to do, give me the price for the wrap and I got you. So, you know what I mean? Everything is moving along like it's supposed to, and we're gonna be looking good uh uh going up into these highways and byways and getting these stories so they can say whatever they want. But I know that I am the first one they can say whatever they want about the Hogger Bay Sister Candy. But one thing they cannot say, one thing they cannot say is that I fleece the people. Because guess what? I got a raggedy work truck, pickup truck that I use every day for work. I have a car that I drive around, a uh, 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 Dodge Charger, you know what I'm saying? And now I got the Morse World TV SUV. You feel well, what I'm saying? It. it looks good. I cannot wait. I know you're going to be bringing us all the stories, all the business, all the truth. And right. I look definitely forward to it. I commend you to Huckabay. I believe in you to Huckabay. And I know that you got our people's back. Hey, sis, do you know uh, uh, Hoke, he was going to campaign for uh, uh, six, uh, three to six months about a van, and guess what? You've never no. seen it. 
Yep. They've never seen But you know, they have always done that. This is the thing. I I watched the shows that you did with Ingen. You guys did have a good chemistry. Absolutely. But a snake, but a snake will show his head and rear it real fast and real soon. And let me tell you something, sis. The things that you see now is not new behavior. That behavior that you see now, it predates even the fun time that we were on the show together. So you know what that means? I dodged the bullet. You sure did. Because, because the behavior that you see now, the manipulative behavior, the spinning everything, the superimposing uh, uh, crazy ideals about pictures, about videos, about this, about that, that is not new behavior. That yeah. behavior predates him That's and I on this channel. Think about it. Inky, Polite, Sarnetta were all together in that picture. All those snakes together. Coming up with all types of ways to behoove our people. And they had done it. They have cases that show that they have stolen money. They have really just hurt the community. Not help, but hurt. A lot of people say, oh, Sardetta helped me, da-da-da. You could have got that same help if you'd have sat back, did you a little fasting, did you a little praying, and went on about your business. Because as soon as you take your money out your pocket and give it to them, you can kiss it goodbye. And, 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 and you know, you know, I think that's another thing of the jealous factor that when I say I'm going to do something, uh, Y'all come through and get done and we move to the next level and they hoping that I would be as they are. That it would mm -hmm. I, I'm not gonna be like you because I'm not yeah. you. I mean I yeah. got principles, you know. I got I got I got I got a a, 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 a two-year-old up to a 20, 24 year old that I, I set my example for. So I'm not gonna look on, I'm not gonna look on this camera like my children can look at this. That's right. Like, That's the difference. My children can look at this. You got a backbone, you got truth in you, you have dignity and respect and kindness, and that's what they lack. It, it, it says, thank you so much. And I You're just welcome. want to underscore one more time. Any show that I do, my children can look at this. That's right. Anyway, even if I'm even if I'm coming at somebody crazy, you're gonna never hear me cuss them out. Even if you see me get worked up and get hot. And, and just fired up. You're never going to hear me cuss them out. You're never going to hear me go gutter. Even if I say, man, listen, where I'm from, you're going to eat your teeth talking like that. And well, you I'm know what that's called? It's called having integrity and having a conscience and having Absolutely. respect for yourself. Absolutely. And guess what? My mama can watch my show. That's your right. And you don't want your mama coming after you about your mouth. Yeah. And then that you don't need that. No, 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 no. That's and what it is. Absolutely. But I appreciate you, you I'm going to be here tomorrow, sis, and always hit the link. I, 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 uh, your energy for this show uh, in this platform is well needed. And I appreciate you, sis. All right? I appreciate you too, Taco. All right. Peace and, and love. Thank you, here for um, are you going to have Um on the show tomorrow? If she's available, absolutely. Absolutely. Okay. If okay. she's well, available, I think she is available too. Let me see if she texts me back. Yeah, I communicate with Um quite frequently, so um, I'm pretty sure she I will. I watching because I want her to know we stand with her. Absolutely. Absolutely. I All appreciate right. you, sis. Peace and love. And blessings, honey. Yes, indeed. Shout out to Team of Woods. Shout out to everybody tuned in tonight. And I'm telling you, Uma quite possibly will we will be responding to the whole K video from the other night. Thank you, family. It's getting kind of late. I got to get up early tomorrow. I got to put some work in. Thanks again, family. We're going to get this work done and we're going to get some healing done. Let's get it. Here we go. Where is that? Where is that? I'll be that more you gon' remember I'll be that more you gon' remember
number To hawk a bay front line Till the law call my number I be that more you gon' remember I'ma be that more you gon' remember That's right I be that more you gon' remember To hawk a bay front line Till the law call my number If you number. a friend of the Moors Then you a friend of mine I was told to watch my enemies Now hold my line Those who speak against the prophet They speak against me And I'm speaking about the prophet Over Drew Ali Who was the first to remind you And bind you back To Morocco, the mountains Mississippi and Quebec Told you you wasn't black Prove it straight back You tripping off trucks You need to be tripping off that Now here we go again Acting like you a slave The same people talk European how to 